Welcome to Las Vegas for the epic conclusion of the 2024 PGT kickoff series. We saved the best for last because we've got a stacked final table in our 10K No Limit Hold'em events coming at you from the Pokemon Go Studio, the Triangle Room. That's where this thing will play out. My name is Rem Korinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me to call the action today as none other than Daniel Negranu leads the way with a massive chip lead sitting on 2.5 million chips as we kick off things six-handed. Aram Zobian, Samuel Laskovich, Kristen Fox, and Alex Foxen, and Masashi Oya are going to try to do their best to stop Daniel Negreanu from winning his second title in just 16 days. As the year is just getting started, we are excited to see if Negreanu can close it out. Eight places got paid. We have 50 entries in this event. And there you see it, 30K guaranteed for the final six, $165,000 up top, and also double points for the PGT leaderboard at the end of the year. The top 40 on that leaderboard will play a million dollar free roll. So, very, uh, a lot of stuff on the line, I should say, as we have uh, Foxen and Foxen, Donnie, at the table. It's kind of funny. Sitting right next to each other, too. We've seen Kristen Foxen before during this series. First time seeing Alex. Only want to be with you. <laughs> Yoku Foku, what the fuck? I forget how to say it. Yoku Fuku, Yoku Fukai. Yoku Fukai. Yoku Fukai. Yoku Fukai. Uh -oh. Does that mean raised in Japanese? <laughs> Is that greedy or asshole? Like it means greedy. No, that, the other one's Bakayero. Oh, Bakayero? He's not Bakayero. He's just uh, Yoku Fukai. Yoku Fukai. Yoku Fukai. Masashi Oya, our short stack, coming into the one? final table with just like seven just big greedy. greens. Okay. It sounds like one, right? It Fukai. does. It sounds like you're... Yoku Fukai. I think it's pretty close to a swear word, calling, you know? Someone greedy? Yeah. I just oh. didn't know how, you know. No, it's you're, you're allowed to say it. Look at this. Oya with 4-3 of diamonds, defending from the big blind with the short stack. Ace, 10, 6. <laughs> look, look, you want to see? <laughs> nothing. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a flop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's been more in style, the, uh, the open muck. Yeah, I did. I did it a couple times yesterday. Nice. That's why you're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it saves you. It's, there's, it's such an advanced play. People don't really understand. So, like, let's say there's spots you think, well, maybe I'll bluff here. No. Now you can't because you don't have any cards. <laughs> right? Maybe I'll make a pair and then I have a tough spot where I have to call. No, no, you know, because you're already out. And it strengthens your check range. Huge. That's the biggest thing. Like, now when I check the flop, you uh, can't just be like, oh, well, he obviously has air. Oh, no, no. Yes. I'm Might think no about auto -folds there. If I don't yeah. autofold, there's equity here. So, you know, all the tricks. <laughs> Oh yeah, there. Just with a little sneaky play, hoping to flop a diamond or maybe even a small pair to get his final money in. He knows that he'll be all in quite a few times before making the comeback. That one did not work out as Negrano on the very next hand raises the 40k. Now, by the way, if you're with us in the chat, please let us know where you're watching from. This could be. A very, very epic day. The stacks are deep, lots of play left, so you better well get your snacks ready because this could be quite a final table. Check range was pretty strong now. Yeah. Oh, it was okay, I was prepared. I had good cards. Donnie Negreanu tweeted about how poker is basically all luck. He had quite a day yesterday uh, looking at the live reporting on uh, PGT.com. Uh, qu quite a few things worked <laughs> out in his favor. Yeah, especially that final hand of the night against Eric Baldwin when he flopped top set. and Eric Baldwin rivered a set of sevens. They got the money in, and not only did that eliminate Eric Dude, Baldwin David. in seventh place, but Good it man. allowed Negroni to take such a big chip lead into this final table here today. Hopefully many more to come. Of course, the, the all more luck comments, you know, tongue in cheek. Here. Plenty of skill in this game. That or Negroni's just been lucky for 35 years or <laughs> something, you know. 
luckiest man in the world, right? Nagano coming Many off more to come, but a bad a year on the tournament of felt. Oh. He announced <laughs> that he would take a different approach in 2024, meaning he said he'd play when he feels like it, when he feels ready, when he feels rested. Skip the what? 5K events <laughs> that started this <laughs> kind of off series. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. I was like, thinking well, about like, my hand. One at a time, but many more to come. It's like they're I'm present and optimistic. <laughs> it's like having kids. <laughs> Hopefully many more to come. But just one at a time. Isn't that kind of... <laughs> like, all right. I'll let it go. Very profound. I think Sam's with me here. Oh, yeah. Sam's with you. Chrissy's with me, though. <laughs> she equally didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Every hand I've had. No, Yoko Fuka. No, the worst hand I had was Queen Jack, and I flopped top pair. Against, uh, uh, wow. I can't win. I have to win every single hand. I'm still <laughs> live for it. <laughs> Three for four? I don't think that's ever four done, for four. done before. Yeah, I can't imagine it was. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. That'd be, that'd be quite boring. Yeah. If what? Not for the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best. <laughs> if Daniel wins every hand at the yeah. final table. A cool story. Ideal would be a cool story. We need like a big spot where I knock four people out in one hand, and then yeah. the next one, Gase is against Kings. That's it. That would be crazy. If I'm the guy with Kings, then it's okay. <laughs> uh, four hands in. Negrano has won all four hands, so that is still a possibility of Negrano winning every single hand at this final table. Goes to show that Negrano is looking to apply the pressure here early. Much love to everyone in the chat, by the way. I see you all. Uh, we'll get to some shout-outs later in the broadcast. When we get to 500 likes, we'll do our first giveaway. Every 500 likes, we'll give away a Pokego Shop merch card, gift card. Uh, we are live. Take it. Don't get too yucko. I mean, I had King 8 of spades, but it's just, like, too far apart. Yeah. Can't even make it straight. That's what I That's why I fold. Do fold it. Go for go for Full final table. Full to final table. Full to heads up. Full to heads up. Full to heads up. Full to heads up. Tony, we're not the only ones who are missing Renlin. Everyone's been missing Renlin. For the past two weeks, everyone's been missing Renlin. Did you get a little Renlin the table during the Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I even told Amanda. I said it was really good. Yeah, it, was, it was a good day. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's rare that you can get people that are like actually being civil to each other, completely disagreeing on stuff, but like actually, that's okay. Very rare. <laughs> Nobody's being a dick about well, it. Well, it's it's not that rare in real life. It's very it's rare, rare on the internet. Yeah. You can't do it on social. Always assume the worst. That's what's so interesting is look how we were able to actually talk. Yeah. Whereas if it was on Twitter, well, it would have been you're this, is, yes. you're that, is, yes. or ism. <laughs> You get labeled quick. Yes. Unlike prior final tables, Donnie, we don't have to do a whole lot of talking with Negrano and Great Spirits. And uh, you know, the, the, the Foxons are, are always up for conversation. Of course they are. <laughs> Masashi Oya, uh, not only in need of a double up, also in need of perhaps a nap, <laughs> a nap or maybe some caffeine. Uh, let's talk briefly here about uh, Kristen and Alex Foxen at this final table. They, of course, both have played high stakes for a long time, well before they, they, they started dating, well before they got married. Uh, but still, it must be a, f a, a weird dynamic for them to play against each other. Yeah, but I, I think that they they treat it like they're not related, not married. You know, they just they play against each other. You've seen them battle in a bunch of pots. I mean, you've been around the studio plenty. You've seen them go at it. Um, this wouldn't be the first time that they're at a table together. You know, going deep in a tournament. So, 
I wouldn't expect, you know, if anyone out there is thinking, oh, there's going to be some shen shenanigans going on. I, I, I wouldn't expect it at all. I, I don't know. I kind of get the vibe from them that they almost, like, want to one-up each other even more. Like, get it over on the other person, you know? What? Take that home with them, have that, have that bragging rights. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Masashi Oya, so short on chips, only has 10K left behind. And let's it go. Do you feel as though perhaps Donnie Seven Deuce, even though it is Seven Deuce, is worth a gamble? Go for it, go for it. Hold the final. Yeah, I'm not looking. <laughs> I mean, at that point, you've already posted the big blind dance. You have the big blind out there. I mean, you can't. Can you really fold and just leave yourself with 15k? I mean, if you think that Seven Deuce is live, then what? I mean, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> Masashi Oya perhaps hoping for a, a miracle bust out of someone else to get a little pay jump. Uh, either way, he only has 5k behind after posting the small blind right now, so likely going to be all in here. Fox and Ace Five of Clubs going to come in for the raise. <laughs> Oya here committing finally. King Ten offsuit. <coughs> Zobian's going to come along from the big blind with Queen Three suited. So we're going to have one player all in and action on the side. Oya can only win sixty-five thousand. Seven seven eight on the flop. Ace high is going to remain in the lead. Three hits the turn. Now Zobian with the lead. Doesn't change Oya's situation though. He still needs a king or a ten. He was behind against Ace high already. Zobian with just a pair of threes, happy to just go to a cheap showdown, perhaps get a money ladder by sending Oya to the rail. Cut. River card. Five of spades. That'll give Foxen the win in this hand. It also means the end for Masashi Oya. Number one on Japan's all-time money list is going to be our first casualty at this final table. He was by far and away the shortest stack coming into the final table, so no surprises here. He's going to collect $30,000 for his efforts. And he can now go and take a nap as he has clearly just woken up. Zobin with the bet, Foxen with the call. He's going to show the ace five and take this one down. Good game. Masashi Oya eliminated in sixth place. Donnie, and now the real poker will start. Yeah, all these players now are pretty deep. I know if you looked at just the values at the top of the screen, it might not seem like they are. But Sam, that's a small coffee today. Big blind yeah. is only 20k. <laughs> so you're even today yes. will be shorter. There. The married couple the of the foxes have. It's actually set to be more than the longest big blind table. Table. Really? Yeah, it's longer final table, than, yeah. shorter day of play. Oh yeah, way shorter. It won't be here till. Yeah. Is that just because the starting stack actually makes that big of a difference? I think it's just because we happen to get in the money. Well, yeah, yeah, we busted uh, two people. Yeah. And, yeah, I do and we two people busted. I do think they went so fast. Matter. Yeah. Like, Distribution. Yeah, extra average chips definitely, definitely matter. Yeah. Yeah. But we also probably, like, getting in, into the money in 15k big blind is really rare. And with, like, starting stack being 10 big still. Yeah. yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah, we've been starting these final tables at either 40 or 50k big blind for, for this last week. So coming in here at 20, that mm -hmm. coupled with the fact that these this tournament, these players started with 150k, not 125k in chips. So 
quite a bit deeper. I think they got done last night around 9 p.m. I know. It's super early. I mean, not that these, these events were going super late, you know, but they were finishing 11, 11.30, something like that. So, you know, two to two and a half hours earlier than normal. You know what that means, though, right? We're going to be here for seven hours today, 17 well, hours. more poker for the fans. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. The fans are just going to get their money's worth no, it's today. Gonna, it's going to be a fun day. Yeah, so quick reminder there, we're streaming this final table until we have a winner. We are live. The Grano is at the final table, and all we ask for is that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're watching us on PokerGo.com, okay. much love to you. We'll do special giveaways for our PokerGo.com okay. fans as well. I look stupid. I'm not that far. Do I look stupid to you? Come on. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy? I <laughs> mean, look at me. What are you looking at me for? Oh, Box in here with <laughs> yeah. the best of it, King Jack of Hearts. Nobody with the diamond, so this might slow the action down. Straight heavy board as well. Ten, of course, would give a player a straight. If, if you're a fox in here, Donnie, with, with top pair, are you at all happy, or is this just is this just like a frustrating type situation? Tricky board to, to maneuver. I think it's kind of one of those spots where it might just come down to the first person to show some aggression and take a stab at it. Might ultimately take this one down. Call. Zobian's going to lead the turn here, and Foxen's going to make the call. And McGrawny's out of the way. Seven pairs of the board on the river. Zobian perhaps trying to represent the hand that Foxen has. Ten seconds. Check. Check. No. Action goes check, check. Foxen is going to show down the Something. winner here. <laughs> like we just mentioned, stacks are deep, which means we're going to see plenty of post-flop play. Short a stack right now. 49 big blinds. That has not happened yet during our live streams over the past couple of weeks. By the way, extra love to those growling? who've been watching. I feel like I was looking at you eating and then my stomach was <laughs> like getting hungry. <laughs> I mean, that's a real sandwich. Bean looks like pastrami. I know it's not, but. It's a corned beef. Oh, okay. <laughs> is, is that from somewhere or you made? This one I bought. Yeah, you, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I just bought is it. It, it might actually be corn beef. Right? Corned. No, I, I didn't. <laughs> Corn. Made out of corn is what Oh, I yeah, mean. yeah, it literally <laughs> might be corn. <laughs> corn beef. Damn, no one's getting my jokes today. I, I, <laughs> that one, get it that one was good. <laughs> that was good. It's early still. I saw a red yeah, low card, bad. like a three of hearts or something, I think. 12 hearts. 12 hearts going to At least the Grano has kept the wrapper on his sandwich. We've seen many, we've seen many foul, <laughs> many foul play uh, happen on poker live streams. People eating chicken wings with their hands. Justin Bonomo bringing out the you bacon. About a million, right? <laughs> this is awesome. I mean, uh, fox on fox in action. Fox and raises. Fox and calls. I've been wait <laughs> waiting for a long time <laughs> to call a hand like this. Eight, three, deuce, two hearts. Neither player with hearts. Fox and still in the lead. <laughs> you got to give me this one hand. It'll be hard to mess up. Yeah, you, you got to give me this one hand. Nothing out there for Foxen, and Foxen will win this hand. <laughs> okay, fine. That's only okay. He oh. can't. Yeah, I wish you guys could see him because he couldn't contain himself by every sentence that came out of his mouth. <laughs> yep. Mm, now I have a million. Like 
from now on, I'll <laughs> oh, yeah. stick, stick to the five. first names. Stick to the first names. What do you have? 885. Okay. <clears throat> Laskowitz, 9 8 of clubs. Haven't mentioned him much yet. If you're new to the man <coughs> in the blue hat, he's been a mainstay over the last couple of weeks inside the studio. Laskowitz had uh, his fair share of success during our oh, last oh, oh. chance <laughs> series, winning one event, making three total final tables, and then also scored a min cash in our kickoff event, event number three. And Donnie, he had the unfortunate honor of being the money bubble in our championship. Yes, very unfortunate. What are you going to do? Yeah, seventh place finish for zero dollars. Uh, Darren Elias finishing in the money in that event. Uh, one spot higher for 40K. Back to raising, this time from the small blind, making it four times the big blind with a seven off. Donnie, it's generally normal to size up a little bit from the small blind, right? Yeah, as long as you're, sorry, not as long as you're, um, <laughs> because you're going to have to play out of position. You know, you don't want your opponent just to be, be able to call, especially with these players being pretty deep, you know. Glasgow can easily just call a lot of holdings and, Putting the you in some, some tricky spots. Not, not that, you know, Daniel can't, of course, navigate pretty well post slot. But still, you want to make things as difficult for your opponent as possible. 134 big blinds for Daniel. That's a lot. That's a lot of chips. One, three, three behind. Got me talking to the wife, pillow talk at night. The stuff we were talking about yesterday? Yeah. He said, okay, you know, the whole lived, you haven't had someone's lived experience, right? Yeah. Okay. What if 100 people, 90, 100 of them had the same lived experience, 99 oh. have a view this way, the other one has the view this way. Am I supposed to just not have an opinion that maybe the majority's right? Because this one says no? You're disqualified. <laughs> you can't, I don't know. I'm like, but I kind of listen to the data. It seems like they all think this. You <laughs> don't, so. Yeah. I don't know. Stop trying to apply logic to these things. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Data and logic, can't do it. They don't mix yeah. well. Yeah. How do you like. Yeah, they're always, those conversations are always mildly maddening because it's just like. Right. So obvious. Very detached from. Logic and reality. Reason, yeah. yeah. With, with good intentions, but it's... It reminds me of when I was Canadian and before I was U.S. You know, people would say, you know, I lived in the U.S. You can't have an opinion on politics because oh, you're that... Canadian. Right? And I'm like, so then you become American, all of a sudden you can? Like, like, so you're saying like a 12-year-old that's born here versus a 40-year-old man who's well-educated from Oxford. Well, his opinion, you know, yeah. you know. Yeah, she, she's a 12-year-old lived experience. <laughs> yeah. 35,000. It's, it's almost ironic, too, from a poker perspective, because, like, so many people derive their decision-making process from, like, P.O., which yeah. doesn't have any lived experience. So, like, you're telling me that, mm. that yeah. Phil Helmuth doesn't have the right decision and the computer does? Well, Phil Helmuth has lived He's that. He's lived it yeah. for 30, 40 years, yeah. What, that, what does that know? And there's actually, that's a very good point. I played in the draw 
Because there are a lot of situations where the computer's just wrong compared yeah. to the humans. Yeah, but is yeah. it, it's wrong. does it not have lived experience? It played against itself like millions, millions of times. But it played against itself. Itself, it didn't play but against, not the yeah, other person. It doesn't person. know it's itself. It's no, but, like, it, right, but it's, it's going to play against somebody who plays like itself. It's not going to play against Oklahoma Joe, yeah. who always that, has it. But it can play against <laughs> what it can play against other types of play. Like it has, like, you can know Doc. Right, but it's very, very difficult yeah. to sort of recreate what like a one-three game looks like. And then all that's yeah. really doing is it's recreating what you imagine that person to be playing. You know, so there's it's like, such a not good... the reality of it. Yeah. Right? You're saying okay, no, 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 no locks. I, I just wouldn't person. discount it. It does have some I'm not experience. Sa- oh, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not bad. like discounting its no, ability. No, 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 that I, wasn't I, the point of what I was saying at all. Yeah. Sound like a PO fan. Yeah. I don't even. I don't know what. You never use it. Really? Okay. Ooh, you can tell there. <laughs> I think it's cool. I mean, it's interesting to see what it outputs. It's fun. Yeah, that was almost irrelevant to what I was trying to say. Like, is like, yeah, no, I was just value, a, I was, but yeah, I was a yes and. Yeah. That wasn't a no but. I was actually saying that the value of that is actually is actually real. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. A person yeah. with lived experience makes a ton of mistakes. Yeah. Their lived experience can be biased. Of course. Back in my day, you never go broke with Ace Queen. See, <laughs> Sebastian's good advice. <laughs> Back well, yeah. in the day, let's just fucking just get it in Speaking free of with Ace Never Queen. going broke with Ace Queen here. Kristen you Fox picks up Ace 30%. Queen okay. against the Ram Zobian, and Jack three four is one of those spots where you shouldn't go broke with Ace Queen. Uh, jokes aside, here top pair for Zobian, Foxen whiffs on this one. Yeah, what either. do you think your ROI would be if you could? Take yourself now and everything yeah. you know, and go back to like 2003. 2003, 2004. Yeah. I think it was already incredibly high then. Yeah. Because I had a good figure for how to play those fields, but it'd be higher now. Like, I think I was like four back then, probably maybe seven, eight. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you could get to like ten. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I mean, I just, but it sounds very crazy. slow and yeah, two-hour levels. The fact that everyone's style was so low variance back then too just favors you so much. Right. Like you never just, like, to, never have to get it in, in a, like, in a close spot. You're never in spots on the river where you have to face, like, <laughs> potential you, you third You could just, like, off. cruise with, you know, over 100 big blinds through yeah. a all lot the flop. of the tournament. Yeah. All the flop. When yeah. they check the turn back. There you go. Solid. Yeah, and, 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 if you, and if you took time to, like, recreate a strategy with, like, knowledge that you have now, yeah. uh, specifically towards how yeah, people towards would play then, you just, like, you, you could do some really insane things yeah, that I just, already, like, I make it really hard to lose. I already know some of the things I would do. Yeah, I'm sure. Like I mean, one, some of them you still do now. Like, you know, like a saying, lot of like them apply I, right now, but even back stuff then. Stuff that I think about, like, that I would work now, like, would be so much better then. Yeah. Way better. <clears throat> it would be a really fun thing to just, like, experience. Yeah. There was a video game, like, they created in the 80s or something. It was the World Series of Poker. I used to love it. It was, like, on an p- old PC. You okay. Start day one. And you're just playing against computer. They're all really bad, but yeah. it's still super fun. Yeah. Oh, and like the goal of the game is to like win. You when, know, yeah, you're playing yeah, the main event. Like you can play cash. You can play satellite. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. It's on a floppy disk. I think they had that for a couple of years because I think I had that on like PlayStation. Yeah, when that was when I was that was more. Yeah, but, yeah. Was way before PlayStation existed. That would be a fun thing to do now. Like, you could actually make that very realistic if you wanted yeah. to remake one of those games now, where you just like have a distribution of player types and like strategies oh, yeah. and yeah. yeah can they, like, can they do that? You think? It's, it's not, it's, they definitely can. It's just a, if you make that, it's pretty close to like some kind of RTA of some kind, right? Like, yeah, but it, I mean, yeah, you couldn't use it at the table. But no, like, no, it, yeah. <laughs> no, I just I mean like that technology. One ninety-five. Yeah. Like, Hundred ninety-five yeah. thousand. Be a, like a flight simulator, but for mm-hmm. for the WSB main. Ram Zobian here, coming with 195k on the river. Zobian had raised pre-flop out of the small blind, 80k. Fox and called in position. Check check on the flop. Zobian came with. 105 on the turn, got called, and now 195 is the bet on the river that Kristen Foxen is facing. She has just ace high. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're just happy to listen in to that conversation. I know you guys at home watching love it when they can hear the players talk. So this feels like the perfect hand to just be quiet for as Fox and raising it up to 700,000. Donnie, how believable does this look as a bluff? I think it's close. I mean, I think Zobian's going to read Kristen Fox and as someone who is certainly capable, certainly able to find different bluffs. You know, she's not someone who's just going to have the nuts every single time when she's putting in big raises like this. Wow, Zobian lets go of top air, and Kristen Foxen pulls off a really nice bluff here to wow. rake in the biggest pot we've seen so far at this Everybody final table. Everybody pay their time extensions? Oh, yes. Let's pay them. Come That's on. <laughs> hey, the piper. <laughs> felt like a bluff to me. Damn. Maybe you're, you knew it, you, you think it's more likely to be value. Now you're trying to get in my head. <laughs> I... I Wait, are we up this end? Genuine. Felt like a bluff to me. 15, 25, 25. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Fox, I'm calling out his wife. I mean, if anyone's going to know, it's Alex. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> Did we drop? I didn't notice the drop. Imagine, imagine being Sorry, a. Sorry, what is it? 25? Yeah. No, we didn't. A top poker player Did married to a top not poker player. Did you drop for him? Oh, yeah. The amount of meta. The it, amount of <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't matter here. Yeah. Relationship dynamics. How much do you have? Eight twenty-five back. If you're just tuning in, this is our final event of the kickoff series. We are going to take a few days off, and then the PokerGo Cup will start. PokerGo Cup is going to be Milena. starting with a 5K no limit hold and buy an event on January 26th. Live streaming, that is, of course. These are all two-day events. And we're streaming every day until Saturday the 3rd with a 25K No Limit Hold'em buy-in event. So that's going to be huge. It's going to be well, lots of great final tables, hopefully. Negrano and the Foxens back at it in those events as well. Zobian versus yeah. Alex Foxen here. We had 50 players in this event. Eight places got paid. $165,000 up top. You can also find the payout in the YouTube description or on pgt.com in our live reporting section if you want to read more about the tournament. So we'll be betting 40000 on this King 10-10 flop. Two clubs. Foxen with Jack-9 has backdoor clubs going for him as well as a gut shot. We might see him come along here from the big blind. It's only 40 into 160. Alex Foxen, by the way, is our yeah, I'd say one adjustment I would make for 2004, just as small as this. Nobody ever bet less than half pot post flop <laughs> at any point. So just oh, that yes. alone. Just like sea betting quarter 30, even 35%, doing that alone already makes you infinitely better like, than two thirds yeah. pot, which yeah. is what my, my standard was like 60 when I was bluffing 80 when I had it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's probably great. Yeah, so now yeah. you That's can like go 80 when you have it, 20 when you don't. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. I can make it even further. Yeah. 25, 30. Do people great. respond the same to the small bets? Well, nobody ever made them. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, people would like, respond the same to 60 or 80, right? There was no difference. Yeah, that, yeah. Well. that I believe. But like, Nobody really faced third pot yes. ever. Nothing. I'm not even kidding. Even Nobody when I it. came up, like when yeah. I started playing poker, it wasn't a thing. No. So just that that, that yeah. alone, being able to see bet like a lot. Yeah. Small. Yeah. You know. So yeah, when I started playing, like I, that was like 
all I like I probably was way too small in really yeah. spots like I my three bet size was oh yeah he played like it was limit yeah, yeah. like I had three bet to like 2.2 if someone raised like, he, I like he was like no matter what stack three bet. Just like I love yeah. it yeah. that's actually kind of cool I like Did it work really well yeah I think it kind Cause of because it actually like they like played almost the same range yeah. and if they're not four betting enough you're okay. getting away with it yeah <laughs> and their four bets are usually so their four bets, if they ever did, were just way too big anyway. Yeah. So, like, they made it easy for you because you're like, all right, when you have it, just call. And yeah. Like, okay, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't put you in tough spots. Yeah. yeah. The good old days. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you watch good players now, you'd be like, this guy is a fish. What is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, like back then? Yeah. People laughed at me back then because I came in for smaller than yeah. three, four X. I was coming in for like yeah. two and a half. Yeah. And they mm -hmm. all were like, that's not even a raise. <laughs> well, you're still folding a nine, ten off, bro. <laughs> like in a big blind. What do you want from my life? Yeah. <laughs> Chris and Fox in here finds. And there used to be, I was one of the few who, like, there was that theory, like, from the big blind, well, you either got to go all in or fold. <laughs> I'm like, every time they said that, I was like, Call is the best play. <laughs> like every time. Like, well, you got nine, ten off. Well, you got to go all in or fold. Why? You have ten bigs. Uh, who made these flop? rules? One point four five. These rules are so stupid. Feels like we're. I remember listening to commentary back then. At a yeah. seminar. Robert Williamson said every hand. Well, you got to jam or fold here. You can't call. And like, I remember with the whole broadcast. Every time he said that, I would have exactly called. Did, did they have like reasoning behind that, or it was just like a fun thing to say? Like I can't. I, can't I think people what just they misunderstood thought. like yeah. the price they were getting from the big line. Yeah. And they didn't understand that the implied odds aren't an issue when you have ten bigs. You're yeah. like you flop a pair, cool. Yeah. If you got cooler, you got cooler for nothing. It's not a big deal. All right. Yeah. And if you miss, you have nine bigs. It's not like your tournament's over. Yeah. You're almost yeah. in the same situation, except you I, got to see a flop. In main events, that's still messed up today, though. People still do that. Like, what, overfold. If they have like sub fifteen oh, yeah. bigs in the big line, they're oh, not defending yeah. enough, and yeah. yeah. They're going all in. Especially against win raises, like don't benefit from doing it. Definitely. Big line Annie. Sounds like King Jacko. Yeah, whatever. Fifty-five thousand. But as I said before, like there's really fucking. There were smart people. They were not. They were really intelligent. Yeah. They just didn't have the tools we have, yeah. and they, you know, they would have figured shit out. Like, they would have seen, okay, this guy's betting third, what am I gonna do? They're not just gonna be like, ah, the good players anyway. <laughs> yeah, but I'd imagine that there still were a lot of people that would just Two be like, oh. like, they just play the exact same my against, guess like, is their 25% adjustment, as they My would. guess is their adjustment would be to raise flop. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Like, against Weak. quarter or third, raise it. Yeah. You know? Like, Helmy still does that kind of. Yeah. They sh you showed weakness. That small you didn't, you didn't bet 80% of find, pots, so. find out where you're at, really. Yeah. Rob Zobian is going to find out where he's at real quick as he makes it 210,000 to go after Kristen Foxen made it 55k with pocket queens. Foxen's going to make the call in position. I use a big flop size. So we're going to see a flop here with nearly half a million already in the middle. Really? Yeah, I find that so backwards. Yeah. Should never. Yeah, I know. I think because now it's come full circle where they're like, Jack, if he bet big, he must be three on the flop. Three yeah, diamonds, it does terrible like flop for like, Zobian. I don't know if it's just a super small sample or something, but almost every time I pot flop, I get check raised, or like they respond in some way you would never think. Yeah. Like call flop, lead all in on turn or some shit. Yeah, I mean, that's why I just like wouldn't bet pot against these types of players ever. Because there's just like not really as much benefit. I'm starting to you're learn you're that. to figure that out. Yeah. It's not, it's not doing what you expected. <laughs> no, I, I don't get the response of intended. <laughs> I think some of the seven deuce three rainbow flops against the big blind are really interesting in terms of how people approach them. Okay. One guy, I remember, he did it against me. He's a young guy, I can't remember his name. But didn't, I just do it, didn't I just do it yesterday? No, you did pot. This I guy pot. two X potted on flop. <laughs> Raise another gun, two X pot on seven. Yeah, it's actually good. I, like, yeah, hmm. I mean, I had two pairs, so I said, eat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was wondering, like, what is... I check raise. I probably I don't think I should, should have. But I don't know. It's weird. Against two X, I would think never. Mm -mm. No. Unless you're bluffing, maybe you should just bluff there. Yeah, just min raise if you're bluffing sometimes. <laughs> Six four suited. Yeah. There's 
No bluffs. You probably check right Check, check between Zobian and like Foxen, bringing us to like a King six, of Hearts like on seven, the turn. Six or something. Like, if you had, like, just a pair seven. Mm-hmm. Like, to shut out his 10 9. What about bottom two? Bottom two, maybe. Against humans to do that. To be raising or, or to be two X or to be blasting. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to come around. I don't think it's, it does on flop. Work. I mean, other streets is very good because people aren't balanced. Very, very different. Flop two X turn. Yeah. Yeah. Like really I get the the idea of it just makes check, so much sense, again. but it just doesn't. Five of clubs on the. Like in river. theory, it makes like you. you it's like oh, the before the board changes. Like I have the knots. Like let's turn it. Maintain into two, my turn it into a two street game yeah. and then. Yeah. But it's never well. That's like everything that comes out of the computer. It has some logic theory. Requires the proper. Yeah. Well, some, of them, some of them. Some of them like they, you know because it can't talk to you. Like you gotta have to like figure out like why is it doing what it's doing. Yeah. But that one course. makes like a ton of sense to me. But then you take it into the real world. And it's just, exactly. Yeah. It just doesn't play like you think. Kristen Fox and looking at her hand might be yeah. thinking. I've had the Should have put this my... in pre-flop. Strat, especially I, in like the main event. I yeah, said that it was a disaster it. flop for Zobian, but not much better for Fox. Right, which makes, it, which makes it good sometimes. Yeah, but I don't but, know. Uh, Overall, I don't know. Like, so, yeah. what are they calling with? Like? Um, eh? Probably still yeah. calling with their straight draw. I'll tell you if you tell me. That's kind of the point: is you're targeting that like inelastic portion of the range that just can't fold any size. You know, it's not even bad. I had a as much as just to call the king. Fucking call this. And then what? And turning, blasting. And then ours is a little river. bigger. Fuck, what, what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this one, that that river, they're close. It's especially bad. I think that one's. Somebody doing the strategy that hasn't looked at like, what happened with your flop. Like, you bet two X flop. Uh, that spot's really big, right. and if you don't know how to yeah. play the turns. That's, right. that's, that's what I think that's the problem. Once you do that two X spot and the other person calls, you're screwed now. If you don't know, if you don't know what's Yeah, I'm saying most people don't. Like, you're screwed because what what next? Against the range that just called. <laughs> yeah, you condense them to so some very strong bad. stuff. Yeah. Now they have range advantage. Hard to get a word in here with uh, Negranu and everyone else on their talking chairs, but quick little reference here before we dive into this hand. Uh, Foxen and Zobian exchanging information, and now basically even as Foxen got away with the bluff versus Zobian earlier, now Zobian got Foxen off her queens, so they're fighting a nice little battle here as we dive into this hand. Currently in progress, Negrano making it in 50k. Laskowitz calling the button with ace 10 of hearts. Zobian perhaps thinking about a squeeze here, Donnie? He might. He might be thinking about kind of all, all options here. Call and or raise. For those in the chat wondering why she said she had ace queen, that was in reference to an earlier hand they played. If you missed that, that uh, was a big bluff that. Foxen got through versus Zobian, who pulled the top pair. Uh, Zobian is going for the squeeze here, making it 270 to go. Donnie, if you're Negrano here with Laskovitz still sort of in the middle here, how do you approach ace check off here? Tricky spot with ace check off. Might not be enough of a hand to, to want to go with, especially with Laskovitz still being behind you. How much to start with? Alaskowitz, you know, he, he might think this this looks like a good squeeze spot for, for Zobian. Keeps changing. 675. 870 behind. 870 behind? Behind. Got extended. Wait. Yeah, thank you. That is 775 for sure. Laskowitz does elect to give it up. And Zobian takes that one down. Yeah, nice pickup there for Zobian. And fast. this, of course, a result of the deeper stacks making this a far more interesting final table than some of the previous ones where most of the action yeah. was all in or fold. Right now, it's Kristen Fox who has won five hands, mm -hmm. Negrano has won five hands, and all the other players have won three hands apiece. So 
Very even battle right now, but still the overwhelming chip lead for Daniel Negreanu. He has 102 big blinds. Next closest is Laskowitz with 56. So very much in command. Daniel Negreanu here at this yes. final table. It's not if you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button. We've already hit 500 likes, meaning we're going to do Jesus our first very good merch gift card giveaway in just a few minutes. But like I said, every 500 likes will do no, a I'm giveaway. So worse, but it's suited. Yeah. I wasn't Let's suited. just hit 1,000 and do two Nine. giveaways at once. How about that? Kristen Foxen here with Ace Queen off in the small blind. Wow. Yours is tougher than mine. I have you behind. All right, yeah. Yours is yours. I wish for yours. Close the action. I know. He's not tough. He could have Blinds stuff. now 15K, 25K. Yeah. Kristen making it 100K to go. And Alex Foxen with King Jack off, also a real hand. Alex Foxen, our short stack with 39 bigs. That's not very short. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is uh, theory versus practice. a very playable stack as he decides to make the call in position. In theory, I think I'm supposed to play too. You know? King it's five deuce. Great development here for Alex. Click it back. <laughs> as Kristen is and left with just ace high. Fold the jam. <laughs> it's like you tap is more than half the stack. The click back. The two you have to make it like 400 or something. <laughs> yeah, you go to 490. Show the, <laughs> show the 2005 guys what's up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Min, He's six off. Min click. Yeah. Kristen continues for 60K. Let's see what Alex does here. Go for it. He's not folding. He's definitely not folding. Are you going to shove? Huh? You're saying you have shove? No, no. Just no. call here and, oh. you know, continue to play oh. this one in position, Probably which is certainly no fine. Yeah. Let's put the uh, 10 of clubs He's on walking. the turn. <laughs> Make it a little fun, huh? Yeah, an ace block. Oh, it's the ace of clubs. I mean, fun <laughs> fun now for Kristen Fox, and not so much for Alex. Not only does she hit top pair, she also picks up a flush draw. Hard one to win now for Alex. If you weren't in the hand, I would have for sure. Yeah. I mean, he just tweeted at me without you playing. Yeah. It would have gone small. Perhaps to then you can play. trying to get tricky here. Yeah, exactly. All, all everything changed. Well, it's also, I, if you weren't in the hand, I opened the three, but I mean, I'd probably be, yeah. It's, it's just. It just worked out that we both had hands. And Alex Foxen wisely checks behind. Of course, that ace, not only higher than his uh, king, his, also uh, um, clubs, towers, which he uh, doesn't have. So the value of his top pair that he had on the flop Definitely reduced. Yeah, I love it here. We just moved to Lake Las Vegas. 250? Yeah. Still a different vibe, a different vibe, small town vibe, but not that far away. Right. 35, 30 years. Nice out there. I don't come here and play. Right. And then it's like a work day. Listen to podcasts. Yeah. Kristen, that's 250. Plenty of reason for Alex to think that his top pair might be good. Not really a situation where you want to be raising. But still plenty of value. Yeah. <laughs> in his yeah. pair. Coming from uh, Yeah. Right, right. At least. Yeah. I, I, I believe it. I'm coming from New York City, so I get the... the uh, <laughs> super modern. Yeah, it's probably beautiful. Yeah. Do you sell the last one? Not yet. Not yet. I want a house on now. <laughs> Donnie, it seems as though Alex is considering a fold here. It wasn't that much. Yeah, I mean, tricky spot for him. Look at this. I mean, it's, a, it's a good fold, end of the day. Oh, do heads up. Uh, looks like you're taunting me. Throw the cards oh, so like right get it. <laughs> Fold. Impressive Good. fold there from, from Alex Fox. It's not, many, it's many many not though, weird to just call it off there with a right? pair of kings. Yeah. Yeah. We were playing no, no, it was a good king, too. You know, like, I'll my cards while we're playing. The the king do something like right? that. 
She like always want to see my hand. I don't know. Can I let her sweat. Kicker. Then literally, one time I'm like, I want to see her hand. She goes, No, I don't show my cards. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this? Are you shit? She's not even kidding. Deadpan. Like serious. It's wow. like that was reasonable. That's so, like look at every playing five handed. You get to look at every one of my hands. And That's you won't show me one limit hold them hand on, tur- on the turn. That's hilarious. That's strong. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah, maybe not fair. I'll see mine anymore. How about that? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Sounds pretty fishy on her part. Should have just showed you one, and then yes. she gets to see ten more. Exactly. Yeah, the ratio would be, would be in her favor. Yeah. yeah. Still has the edge. Lasko is under the gun, raising with a seven of Yoko clubs. Fukai. Sobian. Queen ten of clubs. Yeah. yeah. Yoko Fukai. 175. There's 175. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sobian stays aggressive, makes it 175. Action oh, back on over to Laskowitz. What do you think, at? Ace 10. Jack was my initial guess, and then I guessed down. Ace queen. With a club? Yeah. Big hand. What about you? Donnie, give us some more insight here into what goes through Laskowitz's mind. Of course, A7 Lucky suited, yeah. good raising hand under gun, five handed, but then you get three bet from the guy oh, to your direct two. left. And here he comes with the four bet. Look at that. Maybe he just felt like Aram Zobian was, you know, getting a little bit too aggressive with some of these plays pre-flop, so. I think he might be more inclined to see that sort of play with like the ace five, ace four suitors of the world, but nonetheless a good read from Laskowitz there. <laughs> like 1.1 1. 1 Aram. One, one, one. Uh, that's cool. sad. We were getting it all in. We were. Uh, you know what's sadder, though? What? Me folding to you. <laughs> <coughs> no. I For th- me. I think the Queens is sad. It's hard to I find guess we're Playing this hand in the yeah, dark here as especially our. Especially in the five hits. Yeah. Gra- graphics are <laughs> no, deciding to. What? Uh, give out five. here for this one hand. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of like the old school. That beats me anyway. WSV episodes where yeah, every like now and the then they would actually cards. Your bluffs if they have like yeah, yeah, a king X or queen X. Block the queen X. You hit. You have a diamond. I did. Yeah. You did. Oh. Yeah. I was cooked. Yeah. Call. Found a way. Fox and Alex Foxen comes in with a raise here to 55k. Negrano makes the Some call. No. Apologies for the oh, technical difficulties here with the graphics. That's three, four, six. Go falls on the flop. No, 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 I'm into the open. Uh, could have done all three. Foxen on the button. Negrano in the small blinds. Blind poker, guys. Let us know in the chat what these guys have. All three. We're mm-hmm. just here to test you guys to see if you're Jack. good enough to make these reads without the cards. 65,000 no. 65, is the bet from suited. Negrano and, or excuse me, from Fox and Negrano. Better Let's than Ace Jack playability was. <laughs> By the way, we are about to hit a thousand likes on the video, so we'll just do a double giveaway here to get things moving. And also yeah, shout out to Phil87 okay. for the donation Bye. via mm-hmm. Super Chat. Very much appreciate it. Also, a new member to our YouTube community, NS. Thank you so much for joining. It's a good day for some poker action. I thought I had a All right, anyone who has What's liked that? the video and who has <laughs> subscribed to the channel is eligible no, for actually. the giveaway. All you have to do is answer this question in the chat, and we'll pick a random so submission. So there's no, like the there's no wrong answers. Sure. What will the heads-up match be today? Let us know in the chat. Tell us the two players that are going heads up. Uh, winner first and then the second place finisher. So, who do you got? Let us know in the chat. Winner and second place finisher. I'll pick a random submission from anyone in the chat. We'll do two gift cards for 
YouTube no, chat, no. and we'll do a separate one for the PokeGo chat that Donnie will keep an eye on. As we see, 9A3 on the flop here, and Negrano made it 50k to go. Zobian with the call. Still waiting for graphics to come back, but I've been told this will be fixed shortly. That's probably the bottom. Yeah. So picking two winners on YouTube, and we'll pick one winner on PokeGo. Yeah, I didn't know that would be it. takes this one down with a bet of 55, excuse me, 50k. <laughs> when is the Tampa game? Do you remember when you said? The which game? The, the Tampa Bay game. Oh, I think it's March 19th, I believe. Okay. 19th or 16th. Do you remember? I told you the date. And you want four, right? That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you Sweet. so much. Yeah. You get the best seats in the house. That's, oh, hoping that's to, amazing. Hoping to see those seats with you, but. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'll, I think I'm going to go to JG. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I, and you're not? It'll depend on some things. Mm. Not definitive either way. This is the last. We're drawn after this, right? That's like a Fox, oh, excuse me, uh, Negrano raises the 50k. Zobin with the call. Action now on Kristen Foxen. Graphics are back. 10 8 of spades. Call. Grano bets 75k and gets a call from Kristen Fox and the Jack of Diamonds hits on the turn. By the way, at the end of the next hand, we'll draw for winners in our giveaway. By the way, just like the video and subscribe to the channel to make yourself eligible and then submit in the chat who do you think will finish first and second in today's or at today's final table. Actually goes check check on the turn. King of Hearts completes the board between Fox and Negrano. Be to check, six. check. Like who? <laughs> it's spades. Oh, it's a pretty it, hand, right? I wish it came spade, spade. <laughs> Ooh. I had spade. Good thing it did not. Fox is going to take this one down as it checks one down. Hand, one hand, guys. <laughs> wow, you're really good at that. The other day he did like. You want to get out of here fast, huh? <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> naps well here. He you must not get paid hourly. <laughs> <laughs> the field drawing a little closer together. 80. Or sorry. Fox and sh the shortest yeah. stack with 35 80. bigs in the ground and now below 100 big lines. Nine still Ooh, still leading with 97. Five. Still, still very stack. comfortable. Okay. Oh, it's 50,000. What do you have about? 985. Okay, thank you. You? 1.5? Um, yeah. Typo, typo. <laughs> typo, typo. Uh, Negrano takes it down with the raise. There it is. Grab it back on the screen in case you missed any of the action. Chip counts at the top of your screen. All right. I promise to announce the winners after the next hand, which um, has I have like right 1.5. Not exactly, but 
1.57 military. Drawing for the winners. Mm. Oh, no. We got yeah. 1.6. Oh, really? Dan Jensen. 1.6, exactly. Dan Jensen. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm 1595. Okay. Kai Space Ace. So basically, right so as we Dan started, Dan Jensen. You guys are the same. And We're Kai. Same. Daniel's the rest. I'm off. No, I meant like. Space Ace. Oh. Two people. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just In order to claim your prize, games. please email social uh, at pokego.com. Yeah. I see, I see. Include a screenshot of you logged into your. YouTube account if you are Dan Jensen or Kai or KY Space Ace. You go hiking much? Me? Yeah. Um, I like to. I was gonna say I want to do a switchback. Walk on a switchback. Oh, uh, what's that? You know, <laughs> it's like when you oh. zigzagging. Yes, yes. Trying yes. to switch back. Yep. <laughs> Oh, much love to everyone. so sad I didn't show. Tune in right now. <laughs> Different run out if you shove. <laughs> True. Yeah. No, no, no. Ten still loses, but there's different run out. <laughs> yes. yes. It comes nine high instead. 15.30? If it came nine high, I was, I was going to be very happy. <laughs> Six is here for Zobian. Raise. Fives for Alex Foxen. Could be in a little trouble here as he calls on the button. Alaskovitz getting Call. a nice price in the big blind with King Jack off. Ace, King, seven on the flop. Sixes and fives. No longer all too happy. Donnie, you got some winners for me as well from PokerGo.com? I do. I do, I do. Diesler, I believe I'm saying that correctly. Diesler over in the Poker Go subscriber chat. And Chuck No Riz. Get it? No Riz? Yeah, but Chuck Norris. Um, Diesler and Chuck Norris, congratulations. You guys are winners of Poker Go Shop gift cards. Kind of same protocol as the YouTube chat. Send a email to social at pokergo.com. Include a screenshot of yourself logged into your Poker Go account so we can verify. And then we'll get you guys all squared away. Congrats. Still working out some issues with the graphics here. They're not cooperating as they should. We've arrived on the turn here. Zobian started the same with a race of 70k. Foxen, the Al Alex Foxen called the button. They have fives, or sixes and fives. 
And then Laskowitz called in the big blind. Alex Fox and bets 65k on the flop. Laskowitz the only caller with King Jack on this ace high board. 255. 255. On the turn now, Laskowitz again with the check, and Alex Fox continues betting with just a pair of fives. We've got ace, king, seven, nine on the board. Two hearts as well. Laskowitz holding king jack. So he's got the best of it here. But Alex Foxen continues to show strength here. Especially given that he's a bit shorter, perhaps Laskowitz giving him some more credit. Laskowitz says no. Yeah, so Laskowitz folds a pair of kings. Alex Fox and picks up a very important pot for his stack. Probably the biggest hand he's won today. Yeah, things haven't been exactly going his way throughout this final table, but always good to pull one in of that size. Feels good. <coughs> Get the momentum swinging mm. back. Break after the this right level, direction. Right? Oh. No, next one. Next one. Wow. Four levels. Four le I thought it was. Oh, okay. I thought we were doing three once we were post red. You got a pee? We stopped doing that. Yeah. Oh. There's a cup right there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Is there be a dark, dark spot for the Learn camera? to be resourceful. Yeah. Stop being a victim to circumstance. Just <laughs> take it in your own hands and release yourself. <laughs> no, 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 it's not that big of a deal. I was just curious. Curious if I should be looking for spots to run to the bathroom or not. 25 <laughs> and 55 minutes are very different. Chris and Fox on King Queen offsuit. <laughs> Perhaps we're going to see Alex Fox and sprint to the bathroom now. You probably need at least a call in order <laughs> to go to the bathroom. In order to yeah, make yeah, the yeah. run to the bathroom. Not that it's far away. I mean, it's right outside the door. You need, yeah, need to be on the button and then a raise and a three bet ahead of you. <laughs> and I guess there he goes. No, he, he went back and I think he said, I need a call. <laughs> Laskowitz is definitely going to get go. involved there. Go. And there goes three. <laughs> Alex Fox oh. and out the door. Zobian's also going to call here with the Jack Four. Great play with Listen, if, if Kristen's a good wife, she'll take max time. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily have to use a time extension, but, you know, she can take it down to one, two seconds, right? Yeah, I mean, you got to account for the hand washing as well, so. What a lie that was. Hmm? He said he was just wondering. We've got King Queen here on Queen 5 7 with two spades. Zobian flopping a flush draw, Fox on flopping top pair, and Laskowitz, who. Opted not to get aggressive here with this pair of tens, perhaps in a situation where those tens hit the muck just like immediately. Looks like Alex is back from the bathroom. It's nice and quick. Very quick. I could see Laskowitz giving this one up. I could see him making a call, trying to see one street. It does get a little tricky three ways, and of course, you don't have a spade. There's two spades out there as well. See how Zobian wants to approach this one. He's I'm the only one looking for a flush, but you know, not that he's like overly worried about it. But at times, you know, you do have to be concerned about getting over flushed when I you don't have enough flush. I enough. am sort of surprised that Laskowitz is leading here, Donnie. Why would you? Why would you do that after not showing aggression pre-flop? No, he checked call. Oh, excuse me. I, I <laughs> completely missed. I completely missed Fox's bet there. My bad. Zobian's in there as well. Nine on the turn. So still three ways here. Good point. Check. Action checked to Foxen again. Tony, if you're Foxen here, you've got to feel confident that your queen is going to be good quite a lot of the time, and you're going to be up against quite a few draws. So does that sort of lean you towards a larger size bet here on the turn, or is the fact that you're three ways a little scary? I think 
three ways makes it a little bit more scary than normal. I can see a good amount of time. Kristen elects to check this back here. You can certainly see her also betting, and if she does bet, sizing up from where she was on the flop. There is 400 out there. Looks like she's coming with at least 200. A little bit more, 220. That is Laskowitz's signal to get out of there and Zobian also out of there. Well done there by Kristen Foxen. Yeah, Kristen Foxen chipping up nicely. She is up a million chips since the start of this final table. Daniel Negron was still sitting on what he started with. He's down only 90k since we got cards in the air. Just cold brew. Oh, yeah. Tiny bit of uh, heavy cream. I, I just got onto that cold brew stuff lately. Nitro <laughs> cold brew? Yeah. Oh, my God. I got a can with me now. It's, yeah, it's so I, it's I don't crack. even like black coffee, but this, I drink black. Yeah, 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 it yeah it's is very good. smooth. Nitro is really good black. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah it's very addictive, too. <laughs> it's got a lot in there, too. Yes. Yeah. It packs a punch. Yeah. yeah, seriously. I think the Starbucks, like, Grande has, like, 400 milligrams of caffeine or something like that. It's Jeez. wild. <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't be legal to sell things with that much <laughs> yeah. caffeine. We, we've talked about this before, Donnie. I have completely stopped drinking cold brew because it literally gives me the shakes. Uh, by the way. Nitro cold brew or yeah, just cold brew? In nitro cold brew. Like, I cannot do it anymore. I've given up on it. I love the flavor of it, but I just drink <clears> too <throat> much of it. And then I start tapping my feet and tapping my hands and oh. my yeah, speech gets I've rattled. I've been drinking a lot more coffee lately myself. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Negronowski's going to get involved again. Yeah. I feel like it hasn't, you know, things haven't gone overly well for Laskowitz. Not, not that he's kind of getting decimated, but, you know, just been some spots where things ultimately haven't worked out. He had to fold that ace-ten hearts earlier when Zobian, three. you know, three bet from the small blind. He had to fold those tens. Now he's kind of in a tricky spot here with, with two sixes. We can see Kristen Fox stepping out from the big blind here, but she's going to get whacked down by Negranu. 600. 600. Four bet from Negranu makes it 600. Kind of, kind of a click back here from him. Bluff too much. Him or me? Me, <laughs> that's not a bluff. <laughs> Mine was a semi. Not a bluff. You were li literally just talking about that. What's that? Same spot. Before bet? You said, what am I going to do? Click it? Oh, yeah, click <laughs> it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah click it. Yeah. <laughs> you had the ace 5 -oh. You feel so good right now. I did not have the ace 5 -oh, bro. <laughs> bro. Bro, right. wrong guy, man. I had an ace. You know, you get older, you get patient. You don't need to every ace five. You're like, oh, I got to do something. Oh. Balance my four bets. It's not balanced, okay? It's just good hands. Yes. Four bet. It's not, fine. Not, not, do what you got to do. Pal. Do what you got to do with that info. That I got guy. good cards when I four bet. I feel like that's so, an interesting exploit. sizing from the Negroni. <laughs> Exploit away. Come on. How you uh, one, a lot of times people a little under 1.1. Move all in with ace king off. Yeah. 107.5. Another pair for Laskowitz. You a little over one, two? Dealt all oh. one, one, two, four, five. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll stay after this hand. Okay. Yeah, no shortage of good hands for Laskowitz, but yeah, somehow it's not translating into profit. I think he did a video with this guy. I forget his name. Maybe profit. it's like Greg Goes All In or yeah. something. He made a little video, and it's um, like this GTO wizard, and the kid oh, is yeah. dealt ace-five suited, and he's playing versus like this old knit. Yeah. And it's so funny yeah. because it's like, but chart says to four bet. And then the guy like five bets, he's like, but char like I forget how the yeah, end went. Yeah. Do you remember? It's like it's three bet, and then you got old, five bet. Old, old man coffee opens the button. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh, he's five suited. Like that's a three bet. It, he's like, yes. like, he's like, I can just call. This guy's really tight. And then GTO wizard comes flying. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, Ace five <laughs> suited is a one hundred percent three bet from the big one. <laughs> <Yeah. line." laughs> and then he five bets it. And then he, and then he three bets, and 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 the guy is like, I re raise, and and he's like, oh. 
I was bluffing, got caught, got a fold, and then GTO Wizard comes back and is like, Ace five suited is a 100% five bet. <laughs> he's like, all right, and he shoves and the guy has aces. And the guy has aces. What do you know? Yeah. And then GTO Wizard's like, oops. <laughs> It was great. It's, 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 like, really, it's, it's really, really well done. Yeah. It's a funny parody of reality. Yeah. Right? Yes. Like when I hear some of these people say stuff, I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy's not bluffing yes. though. That's kind of a problem for you. I have my best hand. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Greg goes all in. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out. Great content. Of course, from him on social media. What's his Twitter handle? He's on YouTube, of course. Greg goes all in. He's on Instagram. Greg goes all in. Ten seconds. Well, buddy, I think maybe my nothing is better than your nothing, but I'm not <laughs> fine. <laughs> now I want to watch that video. He did I had another. A pretty good card. His other. Oh, I had that card. We need to check the deck. <laughs> no, it's a jack. It's a jack five off. Oh. Um, another good Ooh. video he did was the types of dealers. Yeah. It was really funny. Yeah, he does some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the only one I've seen from that guy, but that oh, was, re it was really funny. I'll show you it after. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, we have to watch it again. It's really I went funny. to his house in Vancouver because I was staying there. I think I might have seen, yeah. The one oh, with cool. the, the Batman bit. <laughs> oh, maybe I didn't see that. Oh, this one's funny. Okay. You got to look at that one. Oh, Those okay. are pretty good fight sounds. The guy brings a rake. Yeah. 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 He brings a rake and I sign it. And he's okay. like, can you sign another one? Can you sign another one? I say, you fucking, you make me sign one more of these, and I swear. And then he does, and then I take the rake, and, bish, 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 bish. and then I walk out like, that felt good. so fun to watch a final table of a 10k buy an event with some world class players. I thought it was going to be a more rake is better joke. Well, it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like, that was the thing. So, like, he says, can you sign this? And I'm like, haha, very funny. I get it. And then, uh, you know, then he starts needling me a little bit. And I'm like, okay, dude, 7, seriously, 15. that's enough. <laughs> and then he does it one more time. Double up. You double up? Right now. I'll try. What I was trying to say in between all the table talk is that it's nice to have a table where people are just jovially chatting with uh, some serious money on the line here. Uh, by the way, much love to everyone who's tuned in. Thank you all for joining us. We're streaming until we get a winner today. So you know, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. We'll listen in on the table talk because there's been plenty of that. Uh, all we ask of you is to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Turn on post notifications as well because we have daily content being released on our YouTube channel. So if you're new to what we have on offer, this is very much the right time to jump in. We're also streaming a lot more live in January. The Pokego Cup starting in just 10 days. Those are all high roller events. We're going to see Negreanu probably play in all of those to uh, collect some points to play for the cash bonus. There's a whole lot of action going on here. Seconds. in Las Vegas. And if you are a poker player and you play high stakes, this is the place to be. Poker Cup, of course, are also open events, so you can come come down and start playing perhaps satellites or jump straight into the action when we kick things off with the Poker Cup. More information can be found on pgt.com. Uh, Alex Fox is involved against the Ram Zobian. Zobian flops a pair of jacks. A gut shot straight try here for Alex Foxen. Foxen was our preflop brazer, made it 60k. Action goes check check. Board pairs on the turn with a four of hearts. The play so far has been very balanced between all players at the table. Everyone has won their share of hands. We lost Masashi Oya in the early goings. He was our short stack. Um, Aram Zobian, has, his stack has been dwindling, but still he's been, he's been fighting for every pot, so it seems. Slight overbet here on the turn from Zobian. 
box and not much to deal with there. Have a final table hack today. Into the mucky goat. Hmm. Yeah, Zobian. Switch it up. With a very welcome pickup here. <clears throat> 27 bigs as the short stack. Still gives him plenty of room That's to play. Final table juice, though. Okay. And some juice for whoever I get a heads up with, if that would be the case. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Oh, you brought extra? I did. Little shot glass. Said nice. Kind of <laughs> <Donna thing. laughs> What kind of juice? Uh, orange ginger. Okay. We're simple today. Okay. Store bought or freshly squeezed? Freshly, oh, freshly pressed. Freshly squeezed from Good. a Rom's Come that on. And store bought orange yep. juice is just like Coke. <laughs> 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 yeah, if it's pasteurized, it's sugar water. Yeah. No life in that thing. <laughs> Orange juice, perhaps the, the greatest scam of all drinks. You buy it at the store. Aram Zobin, very health conscious. Wouldn't be surprised if he owns his own orchard. Maybe grows his own kale. <laughs> Might be difficult to do out here in the Vegas weather, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe a little greenhouse. Uh, Deuce, nine, five, two hearts. Negrano with king, queen off. Zobian with a pair of sixes. And he has a heart to go along with it. Pretty decent flop for sixes, Donnie. 1.1. Mm, yeah, not bad. You know, I'll one. probably see this one going check call. 1.1. One, one, one. One, one. Or wait, one, so we still got a little bit no. too much of a hand here to just let it go on this flop. One, 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 one. one. The Grani blue flop aggressor also, you know, doesn't have an ace high, um, so I just want to start bluffing with the hand that he ace has. King, seven, nine. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pretty much it, I think. So man does check call. <coughs> Wow, look at this. Six of diamonds on the turn. Zobian gets the check mark. Negrano drawing dead. Question now is, is Negrano going to keep firing at this? Two flush draws out there. So many draw possibilities. Or is this board too scary for Negrano who has nothing to block anything? Negrano perhaps... Happy to give up. This king on the river, though, might cost him. Backdoor diamonds come in, but still, you got to give Zobian more credit for hearts, given the fact that those were on the flop. Still not a not a good situation if you have a pair of kings. See what kind of sizing Zobian wants to come with here. I, I think I expect him to come with a bet, and that king is just. 125 there, and I think Daniel's probably just going to have to pay this one off, unfortunately. What is hot? It's hot. It's probably not good. Today. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, I almost raised. Thank good I didn't raise. Huh. Almost raised. I was going to oh. raise. And then I was like, ah, let's just pay him 125. Phew. Wow. I guess uh, Negrano so gets away cheaply here. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay with the rest Well, no, I, I felt my yeah, back was really hot. Pay, like, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, I finally, pay, but like, like, I was just like, oh, I guess it. I'm warm. But yeah. Very warm. And with that, Zobian chipping up as our short stack, the field gets a little closer together, meaning that the uh, Sorry, remind me battle might have? become more fierce. 1. 1. Everyone yeah, believing they have a chance to win. Yeah. Is Daniel still up on top? I mean, he hasn't. And you? I know he lost that pot there, but uh, he doesn't have too many kind of like big blows. That was almost like the biggest, and even that was, you know, relatively <laughs> small. And he immediately okay. picks up two jacks here, so it's. You know, it's right back to it, raising under the gun. Donnie, of course, we all know pocket jacks, trouble hands. I'm making a run. We've yeah, all tricky, lost. Tricky. We've all lost plenty of tournaments or cash binds with pocket jacks. Of course, Negranu is on a different level. Let's see how this hand plays out as Zobian, 
who is known for his aggression. Does a little bit of calculations here, but does decide to throw that queen 10 off into the muck now, down to both blinds. And Alex Foxen looking at that hand, or at least close to it, that he just mentioned about the GTO Wizards of the World going for pure aggression with a suited ace, especially if it's a wheel card. So ace four spades here, Foxen gonna take a conservative approach and he just makes the call. Queen, deuce, deuce. Some back doors there for Fox and Negrano sees that one over card. But Donnie, you don't have to immediately be scared of the queen, right? No. I mean, you don't have to, but you also don't have to just ignore it completely and just come out firing, you know? Negrano does elect to check back. Six on the turn here. Might be a spot where I... No, let me get Alex on a check. Hmm. At some point, I would think Negrani is going to bet at this. As long as he gets a clean run out, I would consider a six on the turn there, eight on the river. Pretty clean for him. So if Alex does bet here, negrani has got just too much of a hand to to fold. He'll, you know, he'll likely call. And if Alex does decide to check again, you could certainly see Negrani trying to get a little bit of value here. And you can tell by the motion and, and, and the facial expression that Negrano is still very much involved in trying to make a bet, and he, he does so quickly, of course, but sometimes you'll see players sort of relax and ease up when they are closing the action, indicating that there's not going to be a bet or a raise. In this case, Negrano quick with the bet, bet's 85k. If you're Fox in here, Don, you're trying to see and figure out if Negrano is going to bluff with worse here. I think it might be hard for him to be bluffing with worse here just Jax. because I feel like he would have bet already if he had, I don't know, a 9-10, something Ready like to that. Pull three? Right? I don't know, it's tricky. I mean, it's obviously, obviously a one. No. The ace of spades. Three. He got it like three times the other day. Not a one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Today it's hard. I like it. I think he marked them. Yeah. <laughs> like, David Blaine. <laughs> so what the players are talking about right now is at the end of every level, That's actually when there's five minutes left in the level, they draw for hands. Instead of playing out the time, they draw for a set number of hands. So I believe it's been made known that there's <laughs> one hand be left in this level. And that's done to prevent any that's kind a, of stalling lot, that the players might do. Yeah, not as not the 400. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm only going to have one It of is them, something like that has, you know, become pound three. <laughs> kind of abused, or at least it was until this method of going to the next level was implemented. Players like to, you know, set up their positioning, start the next level on the button, maybe get the short stack to be in the big blind, stuff like that. You can all do that with some different stalling tactics. So playing a set number of hands does somewhat remove the ability to do that. Kristen Foxen here on the button. Ace, five of clubs, raises it up to 65K. Negranu coming with a three bet here to 185K. Negranu likely mixing some from the big blind with this sort of holding, you know, the seven, six suited, the five, six suited of the world. Sometimes three bet, sometimes just call. If you do mix in some of that three betting pre-flop here oh. with this type of holding, you know, for sure I have a five. You do maintain you some yeah. some board you coverage on some five. different type of. Yeah. of I had an ace five of clubs, you know, and I was thinking about that video with and your suited <laughs> connectors <laughs> raising and with your queen or your queen. bluffs or taking a You said polarized three something about not going broke with ace queen. Yeah. And I was like, should I three bet call off? What should I do yeah. here? And then you said that, and I'm like, I'm just gonna call. Never go broke with ace queen. Yeah, I should have known. It was also the never go broke in a limped pot. <laughs> Actually, in the middle of uh, our tens queens hand, Daniel said I mean, no bluffs here, and I was like, yeah, I have no, <laughs> no bluffs here. Daniel, yeah, you are you are throwing assists left and right. You have, <laughs> oh, when I said you the have no bluffs, the commentaries getting were in our head. There's no bluffs here in the middle of a hand where oh, like seven deuce three, where, where I bluffed. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice. <laughs> where I'm all kinds of help here. <laughs> I could 
have done lots <sighs> of things. So I just picked the safe one. Yeah, he folds over to Alex Fox and he gives up an ace on the button. Now it's on Kid Poker himself, Daniel Negreanu right. in the small blind. He's gonna make it 120k, so 4x the big blind from, or sorry, with the king five off. Samuel Laskowitz here. Laskowitz, a, you know, a, a newcomer on the scene. 30 years old, out of New York, former lawyer. Now turned professional poker player. Remco coming with the goods. Banana bread. Oh, baby. Oh, mate. Laskowitz does defend in position here and flops the best of it with a pair of eights. Negron, you elects to check. see a lot of this at this final table blind battles raising the call and then one try to figure it out post flop and Negrano after that raising the call and check check on the flop now firing out 175k on the turn ace a 10 6 two clubs Lasko with, with that pair of eights in a very good situation here when you look at the equities but you got to make it the showdown first. Let's see if Negrano is going to continue firing on the river here after Laskowitz made the call on the turn. 620 in the middle, so very significant pot here. Four of hearts on the river. Doesn't change anything. Negrano with 0% next to his name. Question now is, is he going to apply the, the pressure on Laskowitz? I think he might here. Oh, wow. 500. Might be a little more even. 525 maybe. Negroni could certainly play an ace like this. You know, he raised pre, doesn't necessarily have to bet the ace on the flop and can go two streets, turn and river. Beautiful. And that was at least somewhere in the consideration for Laskowitz because mm -hmm. he gave up that eight. Angry. I'm not angry. He looks angry. Beautiful bet there I, I from Negroni. Yeah, maybe Up I'm over not, three million now. Play. On the same table very much. Kid poker. You know <laughs> you you guys usually love to see that happier, in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> stare you down like you stare the others down. <laughs> Daniel Negreanu getting it done. Back up to over 100 big blinds. Hitting the 3 million chip mark for the first time at the final table. I'm just mad I paid Daniel. <laughs> the obvious jacks. What do you think? I what else did you? I thought you had a jack. <laughs> a jack. Well, you could have nines. Could be nines, yeah. Nines are less like than jacks, but yes. You had an eight. I did not beat nine. Anything. <laughs> I mean, he didn't beat nines. He didn't beat jacks. He didn't beat ten. I mean, he didn't beat sixes. That's what I should have done. The kids. I was actually like, should I show? That's why I was kind of surprised to see Fox and call that river bet. Would have been six. Sub three. That would have been good. Laskowitz here, <laughs> 30 bigs, and that's going to be all of nah. it, right? It's been a, yeah. it's been the a rush. rough go <laughs> at it for <laughs> playing the rush. Laskowitz. <laughs> He's had plenty of hands to play. Just a lot of bad situations, a lot of spots where he ended up folding or you know, just not getting outdrawn, stuff along those lines. Might have to have a like banana like bread bake off. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I got Patrick, the thumbs Patrick up. Patrick Knight, you know, makes it. Uh, now yeah. you make it. I mean, it's like a million. Seven. We're just gonna close on the studio one day and just have you guys just have bake off. Yeah. So for the for, <laughs> for those uh, who uh, cannot see us, which is all of you, yeah. all I came in today with a a <laughs> big loaf stacks, get me out of, of banana bread that I made last night. I did go easy on the sugar and butter, Donnie, which I think it could be even better if I had stuck to the recipe completely. But being a little health conscious, I thought that two cups of sugar and a cup of butter was a little excessive. So I went with half of those. I don't mind the butter so much in stuff when I bake, but 
Sometimes you just, you read the <laughs> recipe for the sugar trip. and it's like, what, yeah, let's what go. is going to happen? <laughs> Three cups of sugar? Do you know how much sugar that is? Like, what is going on? Two fifty. Look at this. Remco's favorite spot. Same name, same household. Ace nine versus ace nine. This sort of <laughs> decides once and for all who the best player is. Who's wow. sleeping I mean, on the couch tonight? Head, like, who is in the bed? I used to get that. But I only I do two back. a day. I do like one yeah. an hour and a half. Foxen and versus Foxen. Ace nine versus ace like, nine. Unless they Kristen later. increasing the pressure from the big lines. I mean, yeah. And yeah. there it is. Alex yeah. Foxen yeah, when I was your age, I mean, with the lay down. You or me? Like it gets you. I feel like she's just gotten the better of him. All final table. I think I had the best table. Huh? Well, maybe I didn't. No, I brought my you're own. saying that, I definitely have the best. You can believe it. Yeah. You had ace jack or something? No, I don't think I did. Ding jack? Ace nine suited. Oh. I brought we my own ice. I'm that, guy. I'm that guy. The waitresses hate me. They're like, bro, even your ice you brought, I can't get a freaking dollar out of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, well, get a drink? I'm like, I'm, I'm good. I feel like Alex is surprised. That Kristen had ace nine there. <laughs> I'm like the guy who goes to a strip joint. But with who's a book. stacking the chips, Alex? <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Just reads in the corner. He says, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> if you didn't see Chappelle's skit, I, I, I did. I, did. Yeah. I was going to say, we just <laughs> heard this joke. I was like, wait. Go with a book. He's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> he just likes he's the like, vibe. He's like, it's relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 80. Well, Daniel, Daniel's had a lot of hands, like playable hands. No, that's what happens when you show up rested and ready. <laughs> uh, by the way, back to that Foxen versus Foxen hand we just saw. It almost felt as though Alex Foxen was getting a little bit Four frustrated. Sam, Sam gets some real high. Kept <laughs> being put in these positions where it's not straightforward what he has to do. And he, he you see leans what Sam did in Bahamas? Which is yeah. costing him so my, far. It's like one of my favorite stories. The, the ruling is still just I mean, like so unmatched. Beautiful. Like that would have had to go on to a higher... Who was the floor guy? Are you going to say what Sam did to you yesterday? Or four for against you, you. For you, not to you. Oh, four, the ace four. king, ace jack. I know, I was thinking well, he just fucked the guy's hand. The turn. He also chucked like a, a, I don't know what he chucked, across the room to like try to hit the GG sign. Oh, oh he did? Oh. Which one? Is this his? Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Sam moment the other day where uh, Mike Joseph opened. And I went all in. And he's like fake thinking about it and picks his cards up like this, and I just grabbed them and threw them. <laughs> what if it was, that was strong? The Sam they're talking about is Sam Soverall. If, he was, if it was Ace, he might he was, slow roll if, you with Ace. I, I like know, that. And, but then he would deserve it. Sam Solverall, known for his antics. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Negreanu you. applying pressure on Fox, and who again really gone with that one. <laughs> has to toss Key him card. into the muck. Neither does Alan. Mine's the ace of hearts. Yeah. Got it up oh, yeah, two. he's got the ace every time it's number <laughs> of hands. Deck of aces over there. Yeah, that's what it is. It's, it's just four aces. In the <laughs> we, we should just guess the suit, They're all just the not suits, the actual yeah. card. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, wow. Negreanu has really done well here to oh, wow. I have more than I thought. distance himself at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. Alex Foxen, so the short one? stack. We have seven something. <clears throat> uh, 685. 16, 17 big blinds for Alex Foxen. Nice. 250. Zovian here coming in with a raise. We're playing 20,000, 40,000. He makes it 90. And Kristen Foxen hits him with the three bet. Rough with an much. inferior <laughs> hand. And Zovian's got really no choice there but just to put the ace 10 in the muck. And Kristen Foxen's aggression continues to pay dividends for her. Okay. Nine. Have you been to the sphere yet? 
No. Nine fifteen. Uh, everyone's show looks looks awesome. Our friends I've said heard it good was things. really good. Yeah. Like the, looks beautiful. The show thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we should do this sometime. Yeah. They had like bought, like uh, U two was there for a while. Yeah. It's the just, first time I saw it like lit up. It like actually tripped me out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it from I, my balcony. It's pretty silly. Oh, uh, I was just like, because I didn't know, like. Yeah. I, it, was, it was like an alien land. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is going what on? What just happened yeah. to this right now? I was like a little high, too. Well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> a little bit of mushroom. <laughs> after watching how many hours of. This was after playing conspiracy. a tournament. Yeah, okay. And I'm like, alien. A, a, a bunch of aliens just landed I'm in Vegas. <laughs> You probably have it more than us. It's so hard to go on the strip when you don't have to. For us, we don't go. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. All. It's like only like, only place I go is here. Yeah. Yeah. Or the World Series. Yeah. No other yeah. reason. Although actually, I go to the hockey games. Like, yeah. Old. That's yeah. Yeah. Like I don't hang out here. Yeah. Yeah. Come here when you like yeah. need to. Yeah. There's. And it's a shame because like there are some good shows. We should, probably should more. We're gonna go see David Blaine, actually. Speaking of oh, right. David yeah. Blaine or da David Blaine? I've met him a few times. Oh, okay, I've heard he's like it's, the show's pretty good. He's interesting. He said he sleeps like a with a deck of cards. Well, that's like, that's a little weird of a fetish. Yeah, he's like obsessed with like whatever card tricks, yeah. I guess. Mm. Yeah, he was he's, like claiming basically that you can't be good at that without just like living with a deck in your hand. Yeah, I mean it, a lot of it is just like. Good uh, hand mechanics. Dexterity. Right? Like you just you know you're just being really smooth. Cause it's like it's obviously tricks. It's not actual magic. You have to what? deceive. You didn't know that? <laughs> I, know. I can show you some. <laughs> little ace six suited I, action here for Daniel. I, I enjoy those like videos where you see people break down how they do the tricks. I mean, it's, 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 you shouldn't get to know that, but it's like ah, you yeah. Know? And now I try to figure out. It's always doing. like, like, how did I not see that? Yeah, it's always the yeah. thing that just went under here. He's like, all right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen Fox and calls from the big blind. King four three rainbow. There is one spade out okay. there for Kristen Fox, and she's also got a wheel draw. Good board texture for the preflop aggressor Negroni to continue here, and he does sixty thousand. Probably enough there for Kristen Foxen to, to come along. You know, she's got she's got back doors. Her ace high could be good. Ten seconds. Those look like raisin chips. Nada. Have you seen him do his tricks? Like did in you person? Yeah, he oh wow! He didn't Probably tell me how he does. Was it impressive? Like... Or yeah, I don't. It's been a long time. Okay, okay. My dad said they went to some magic show, I guess, and he met the guy who was doing the show, and then during the show, he pil pulled out stuff that he had stolen from my dad. Oh, nice. And my dad didn't notice, like it was like pill bottle and something. Have you seen Shin Lim? No. He's the best. Really? Really. I I met him. He's a. And I, I went to his show and okay. put me on stage and everything. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, cool. He's like, he was on AGT, America's Got Talent. And he oh, won the okay. show. Just like doing some, he's just really good. Somehow the one time that I ever watched that show, he was like doing a, like a guest appearance, a guest appearance after the yeah, fact. That's a great show. I love that show. It's literally like I've seen like 10 minutes of it lifetime and it happened to be him like doing something. You would be blown away by these two guys named the Ramadi brothers. Sorry, how much do you have? 645. <laughs> They're insane. They do these acts where one guy, they're big strong dudes, one guy's standing on his head, his head to his head. Like on yeah, his head. Head to head? Yeah, wow. so he's standing, the other guy's head is here and he's standing the other way. And then they balance and stuff and he walk upstairs and walk downstairs with blindfolds on backwards. It's like incredible. Like standing, his head is here, head, head, up, and they they walk, and he does this thing where he walks up and down the stairs, and wow. it's unbelievable. And it's it's not, real, it's yeah. not magic. No, it's they, like, have, they have no like the nothing on their head. He has like a little platform on his okay. head, so the guy's yeah. head can stand. Yeah. Then he gets up on his head, and then he balances them, and then he walks upstairs, walks downstairs in blindfolds, back up what? the stairs. He goes back up the stairs like this. He, you know, like, and he goes blindfolded. Oh. Yeah. Where is this? It was on AGT. The Ramadi brothers. They're right. in, like when you watch them, you feel anxious because you feel like at any yeah, moment. Yeah, you're like, this is this is just gonna top. That's crazy. Yeah. How do you practice something like that? You just you just get hurt a lot. Like one guy's hair, he's missing his hair. One guy's got a bald spot there because uh. it's like 
He's constantly from doing it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. You're wild. That is nuts. <laughs> Dan, Don't worry, guys. They're on the, I'm the latest on like right now. fantasy <laughs> draft right now. They're doing it again. They came like finals, but. The Ramadani brothers, 2022. Australia's Got Talent. Interesting. 110. 110. Hmm. I, I love that show so much. Amanda thinks I'm a freak because like when people die or whatever, I don't really cry. I'm like, yeah, which When show? I watch somebody, like America's Got Talent. Yeah. I watch somebody do a great job and they get the golden buzzer, I fucking tear up. Uh. And stuff. It's like, you're such a weirdo. I think my dad likes that show. Yeah, like, like oh, this person died. I'm like, yeah, you know, happens. <laughs> it is cool. It's not every day that someone gets a gold whatever, though. Yeah, it's just like seeing the emotion, you know? Like, yeah. it's their whole life there and then they get their feedback and it's just like, yeah. Whereas the other person is just their life. They're dead. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. They're already gone. They're in their They're dreams. not gonna see my tears. Yeah. Like, it doesn't help. It's true, it doesn't help anyone. Anyway. Can't argue with that. Right. Oh, I didn't nice. see him on the table the other day. That's cool. What are their names again? So we're raising it up to 90K. Uh, oh, there's Action another on guy. the short stack oh, of Alex Foxen. I don't know, George. <laughs> 205. How strong is this going to look towards uh, Zobian? Yeah, that, a lot of backlash. You know, probably look pretty strong. Laskowitz gives up two sevens yeah. there, so it looks Bad strong. Bad children, and you're, you're, you're <laughs> just going with what they probably Wait, come up with. Wait, did that happen? No, but I could okay. see them getting yes, there. Like, yes, yes. Oh, you're using right. cartoons to sell a gambling product? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> okay. Triggered. Everything's a trigger. <laughs> Zobian gives it up. Symmetry. Too much. Off yeah. Too much. Yeah. What does that mean? It means I had it means a pair. Like a reflection that looks the same on both sides. I had a hand against you both twice. Ah. Yeah. When, oh, and including the last open. When I three bet you. Yep. Huh. I wonder if you had the yep. same hand I had. I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you were light. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Well, I, I was just guessing that because he said he hoped so. Yeah, one or two queens. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did have tens. Though. No. Wait. You just had tens? No. I'm, I'm yeah, bluffing. it's like... I wouldn't fold tens. Know, <laughs> that would be tight. <laughs> Go full. Go full. Go full. Jonathan in the chat says, commentators have no job with a table like this. That's correct. I love it. I have had it with you. The Daniel show. We just turn the cameras on and behind. He does his thing. And here he's Daniel ain't afraid. Do a little raising on the button. How much do you have now? Taking a sip. 875. Full cards. They're gone. I could have moved in. That would have been funny. Like after you muck. I wish. Antonio did that to me once. On the river, I had my head down, I wasn't looking. Uh, and I had like the second nuts and a huge cash, and then he just goes, he already mucked his hand, I didn't see it. He goes all in. Goes, uh, 875. <laughs> you know the fake, like, call? I've eight seven. Uh, no, like when you pump fake? You did get, like, Sam Silverall do like, that like, in a turn? Oh, like yeah, that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, then, you and then, I did that to a guy at the World Series in like the monster stack, and oh, he no. flipped over his hand, and he was like, good luck. Aww. And then I folded, and he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> Gave me the death stare. The, so yeah, I'm assuming he had big, it. Big yeah. dude, like ex-football player, maybe. He had like, it. He had like ace queen suited. Yeah. yeah. It was pre-flop, but like, uh, I felt that. Adjacent. <laughs> yeah, he had adjacent. Yeah, whenever that works too well, you always feel bad. Yeah. You like want it to give them a yeah. momentary panic, but you don't want them to actually turn over their hand. Yeah. I've had that happen a few times where I'm like, just turn over like seven deuce off, and I'm like, good luck. And, and they'll just like table their hand. Can I ever tell you the Emerald Slim one on TV? I don't think so. 90. I'll wait to the sand salt. 90. So good. Ooh, oh, that chip's back here. I might have one. <laughs> I did that the other day, actually. I didn't realize my stack because there was. 
So this is a real hand. You win. We were playing now heads up tournament in Vienna, okay? Amarillo slims up against this businessman amateur, right? He opens ace king, the guy three bets, he calls. Comes king seven deuce, the guy just open rips. And Slim goes, all right, let's go. As he does that, the guy turns over three kings, right? It's a different kind of poker. And Slim goes, I said, let's go. On to the next hand. I wouldn't call that man on the telephone. He <laughs> 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 said he was going to fold. And then he got away with it because he said, all right, let's go. Guy turned his hand up. Wow. <laughs> Look, the ace king. Wow. I wouldn't call that man on the telephone. So back then, it was like angling. It was just like such it was a, a funny. It was like a funny, yeah. like everyone tried to out-angle each other. Yeah. Uh. Like there's a really good story of Danny Robinson and Puggy Pearson where like Danny like purposely shuffled his card to have it exposed and then like tried to get a different card knowing that he wouldn't be able to. And he argued and argued and argued and argued and he had a roll flush. <laughs> like he just had the nuts. And Puggy was like, no, no, you got to keep that card, whatever. And then he bet and then he called. Right? <laughs> That's funny. I kind of wish that was still like a thing. It's kind of fun. Like I, mean, I feel like <laughs> angling. I don't know. But some versions. You some could make it a part of the game if everyone's. Yeah, on the like same I remember page. online. Like, it's like Brian, you can trick uh, someone into doing something. Or... Yeah, Brian Townsend used to do that. He'd misclick online on purpose. Yeah, well, he'd it's put just, in like weird not, numbers, and yeah. you'd be like, "Well, is this real?" Or did yeah. he misclick? Oh yeah, yeah. That's just yeah, part yeah. of the game, though. I do that online a lot. Like I'll like min. Yeah. How many? If I get three bet or something, or aces. Uh yeah. Like the misclick min four bet. Seven nights. Oh, nice. That's and then fun. You, so it just looks like you're <laughs> clicking the yeah. wrong button? Yeah. It happens. You have to guess what that yeah. does. Yeah, because sometimes I do it unintentionally. Exactly. So I have to balance. You have to ba <laughs> totally agree. Right? Bluff way too much. <laughs> you got one chip hanging over there, by the way. Me? Oh, thank you. So That's one of the best things to do online is, like, you raise somebody three bets. Yeah. And it's like, the say the big blind is just like taking too long, you just like s smash the, the min raise button like repeatedly, so then as soon as it's on you, you just like instantly min raise. Yeah. And then it looks like you misclicked. Yeah, yeah that's what she was saying she does. Wait, from what position though? I'm saying it, like you open somebody three bets and then like. Oh, you open. Oh, interesting. So you okay. just min four bets. I click all the time on WSOP. It's really easy to misclick. Yeah. Like, oh, so like, then they think you just then click auto fold. Then it looks like you were like clicking something else you or like you were clicking on another yeah. table or something. Yeah, you, like, or you yeah. just had auto fold click. Yeah. yeah. You can't click the enter button. Huh? Enter. Yeah, I was like send a text and hit it and all of a sudden. Yeah, if you're yeah, like writing a note no, it's like, like, and you click enter to like go to the next line, it'll just min raise this guy over here. Yeah, oh. it does it all the time. I like snap called a guy with queen 9-0 on the FT for like an all in. Typo. <laughs> Typo. He reminds me of one of the people in the Soul movie. The Pixar soul. does look like the. Yeah. I don't know his name. Anyone oh, used to go. Let me hold him. He'd go like this to bet. The guy would call and he'd go. <laughs> that's, like, that's too far. <laughs> <laughs> that seems <Okay>. too far. <laughs> Elbow check. Absolutely. But then again, it's on the other guy for not like let him put it to bed yeah. up, man. Yeah. Like in just, LA, just they wait a, a second. <laughs> then they created the forward motion. A lot of people yeah. started doing that and then they created the forward motion rule. Yeah. In California. In Let Me Hold Him, it's so much that, more powerful than slower roll the other day. PGT Championship, where I had kings, and the guy. Oh, that was, that was, was that was wild. I still don't understand what was going on in his head. What <laughs> He's happened? like, it's not a slow roll. He's like, you guys are idiots. Wait, what happened? <laughs> I don't. You bet? Did you you bet slightly less than all in, or something? He, he check raised. Or he, he slightly less than all in. Yeah, he check raised to like. 80% of Sam stack or something like that. On like, like you know, it was like two chips. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then or I, 90, I said yeah, it was like not and he like motioned outward. Who was it? Uh, Robert? Jan. Peter Jan. Oh. But he, but the best part was after, like, so he thought it was all in, or Sam thought it was all in, and turns over kings, and the board's like eight, six, three, four, or something like that. It was Jack, Jack, Jack six, four, eight. Okay. And Jan has eight six for two pair, and he goes, "Do I have to call?" What? <laughs> Before putting in the rest yeah. of the money. <laughs> wow. And then there was the justice four on the river. Ooh. Maybe he meant, "Can I raise?" No, no, no. It was. Uh, it, yeah, it doesn't. It was all in, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had a bad feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the board was parent. <laughs> he actually knew. Two seconds. Negroni and Laskowitz involved here, blind on blind. Negroni limped the small. 
Garni came out betting the minimum on the flop. Laskowitz called with that spade flush draw, and here we are on the turn. Garni checking to one to one. Laskowitz. Did people get in a lot of fights from that stuff? No, they just oh, really? like, okay. oh, you got me. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the part that I kind of think is cool. It's like it wasn't a, like today yeah. where you'd it like, is like a, a social of media post about yeah. their lack of integrity. Oh, four. <laughs> All right. Wow. Ah. Mama Mia. Hey, I guess it's just favoring me every single time. I remember like, I like before this. I read this book, I have audio book, it's going to be released at some point, called Confessions of a Crossroad Gambler, about a guy who was a cheat from the 30s or whatever. And he talked about, like, you know, getting, like, cheating other cheats, and they were trying to cheat him. And then at the end, they'd be like, how'd you get me? You know, ah, that's a good one. Like, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You know, like, Sharing, sharing secrets, yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. I'm good with that one. Oh, that's cool. Focused on poker? Poker's or, like, come a long way. Poker. Yeah, okay. And other games, too. But. Oh, cool. What, we, what do you mean, Poker? We're watching a podcast right now. This is the he Daniel ended up Legrani the podcast. To help. Uh, like with roulette wheel? He you know, like people could throw roulette. The He's the one who created the back wall to have it yeah, be a lot of, like, a lot of listeners. Because otherwise, these guys could throw and they could, listen, like, too. throw pretty much. You mean, you mean craps? Seven, six, yeah. Oh, okay. He created that backboard. Uh, so I said roulette, but I meant craps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conversation probably going to stop here for. At least a few seconds while <laughs> these two play the I mean, spot. I haven't said a word in like the last <laughs> eight minutes. I know, it's one of those tricky things where it's like, do we want to step over them talking about, you know, mm. America's Got Talent? Or, or <laughs> do we want to get yelled at by the chat that we're talking over the players? You know, no, I just yeah, want to keep the chat like, happy. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you, you already called. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like all, right, all right, fine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you got 20. I didn't even see the board pair either. I was laughing. Yeah, no, I know. That was that was also called in position. Eight, seven, deuce. You're just laughing at the board pairs. This will probably favor Negroni, but he likes to check it back. Four. Slow roll a couple people too. Yeah, he's he's not even like the slow roll, like slow roll intent. Like it was like slow, like just really slow of rolling the cards. Yeah, I I feel like he has to be on purpose because there like there was a time where it's like. Bet, call, show like a value hand, mm -hmm. and he picks up his hands like this, and then it's just yeah, and he tabled it like a full house. Flips Chat, it over at the know, last second. Yeah. Like, if you like the table talk or not, I want a one for yes, and a zero a bit for of flourish. You don't like yeah, it. I don't. I, maybe yeah, he's just trying to. I'm be gonna tally up the results. <laughs> And then get mad about he it. He got slow day. rolled at the feature table after he did. He really I check again here on the, the turn. Like in a spot where like you could just say flush, he was like queen high, flush, and then he would the guy like <laughs> he did it twice too. He said ten high when there's a ten on the board, he's like flush, and then the second you time he's queen, queen high, straight, queen high, better, <laughs> better. That's blood. good. Nice. I've seen maybe one hundred ones and one zero. <laughs> this is number two, right? Mm -hmm. They did announce four hands before the next level. We will be going up to 25,000. Another one of my favorites was seven card stud. This isn't a cheat, but like Ken Flayton was playing heads up with Stu Unger. And like by the end, Stu had open sevens. And Kenny Flayton started with a flush draw. On the end, he couldn't beat the sevens. He couldn't beat his board. Okay. But he knew that if he raised, it would look suspicious. And he might get called by just sevens. But Stu had a propensity that if you call and you can beat his board, he just mucks his hand. So he's like, he can't beat the sevens. He just called. Yeah. And then yeah, Stu so was like, all right, you call. So he just mucked his hand. He won the pot with nothing. Wow. That's funny. That's yeah, that's that's sharp. Wow. Yeah, that's just sharp. Yeah. It's like when you Shout out to it. Tobias Rankemeyer and Roland the Wolf, EBT block? Barcelona, and you got 2009. By the same? same exact situation. <laughs> oh. Well, it wasn't really seven cards done. No, no, but it was the same situation where, <laughs> like where um, Roland Wolf got called by Rankemeyer. Mark back a bad memory. <laughs> yeah. Refused to show his cards. And I then his I cards like touched the muck. Or something in my the floor name. came over, his hand was ruled dead. Two and Rankemeyer showed that he called him with like the worst hand. up top. Like, way too much of myself. <laughs> I believe Sean has done that I just played well. this outrageous pot against Free Jack. Calling with, like, you know, four eyes knowing his opponent would just muck immediately. On... Queen nine six four three. Now it and is I, you often and don't have the river. to show this is like this is like a two x average pot. Just mucks. Wow. Um, of course we both you can show. It. And he he like snap calls. So I like bomb the river. He snap calls and I just muck ace jack. 
and he chose me A7. And I was just like, yeah, my, my soul left my body. <laughs> <laughs> you ever punch? Did you ever fight? Did I, like when I was younger? Ever, like you fight? Yeah, never. yeah, yeah, I used to, <laughs> when I was, yeah, when I, I used to get in a lot of, they call me Little Roughhead, which was like, the model of my friends in Jamaica, Little Rough Tough. Okay. They call me Little Roughhead, because people would be bigger than me and fight, but I'd still fight. Didn't say I win. People, <laughs> I would fight. For some reason, people always picked fights with me. That's smart. Yeah. That's logical. You'd be my first choice. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really did happen that way. It's so strange. It sounds like you're in prison. <laughs> yeah, they had to find the guy, you know? It's, 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 it's a free roll for them, though. If they lose, of course they lost. If they oh, yeah. win, for you, you're just they're like, the man. Like, yeah, and then just, I'm just, you're just like, like oh my god, yeah. he has 112 pounds. <laughs> he put me in a I can't, I can't even go that hard. I, I might kill him. Yeah. Might be a lose-lose. You look bad either way. You could kill him. Yeah, it is. That's what I'm saying. It was lose-lose. Right. But I was asshole. like young, and stupid, and drunk. Lose. Yeah. I mean, it's just, but it's yeah, part yeah. of who we are. Yeah, like, it's in our nature. Human nature. The violent freak, we all have it. We're Look at this. It. Foxen versus Foxen. Kristen raises to 130K from the small blind. Alex finds aces in the big blind. We could see some family feuding here. <laughs> Alex with the three bet here to 280K. And trust me, this time he's not going to throw his cards into the muck like he did in previous situations where Kristen got the better of him at this final table. Alex came into this hand with 23 big blinds. All in. Wow. Krista moves all in. Wow. Alex calls. Whoa. These guys wow. playing it straight. Wow. <laughs> professional. You're fun so I was, good. I was about to say, you put him in a mood. Yeah. Now I might, uh, yeah. You might. Wow. Win. Huge flop coming I, up here. Oh, my God. Like he hasn't busted Queen me. Queen in the middle yeah, here. I have not busted. He's busted me a lot. So weird. I knew. I, I, I mean, it's not over, so. I know, but Deucer it's two or three. Or three. It's yeah. not too far yeah. from over. Or an ace. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Deuce of spades. Extra outs now for Alex Foxen. Or club. River card. The eight of spades, yeah. and Kristen Foxen delivers a bad beat to her <laughs> husband. At least it went there. <laughs> As Alex Foxen is eliminated in fifth you place. You me on a final table before. Did I? He aces cracked. Cat. I mean, the jacks. Oh, oh, oh. My aces. Yeah. So we're even. Big yep. line <laughs> huh? Alex Foxen Are takes you, home. That's $40,000. Yeah. 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 Is it yeah. blinds up or it's still down? Uh, you guys have one more hand. And then break. Oh, wait, one more. Wow. Kristen Fox is now firmly second in chips with 2.5 million lady. after that hand. <laughs> My mom, about as dramatic as it can be. Damn, I could have busted two of you with me. Did queens. you feel it? I guess somewhat I of a I silver did. lining. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Alex Fox and that like, went I'm to not biased. the person like you're, like, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. in the I same league with. Yeah. Did you feel like it? we share in bank yeah. accounts with your wife, you know? You always At least she gets the chips. Right. We don't need them here. We're. <laughs> he can go do some other things. <laughs> One box in this. One break. Yeah. This is true. Um, dead where small. Where are we at now? Still 2040, but uh, dead small. Thank you, thank you. 7.5, Sam. This is Kristen Foxen's second final oh, table of break? this PGT kickoff of series. Right. <laughs> Came third. Telephone, in please. Event number three with that epic final. The three-way all-in with Justin Young, David Coleman, and her. Kings. She had queens, actually, again. Justin Young had eights, though, and a uh, nice little snowman on the flop. I mean, it's been a great series of, of, of events here at the PGT kickoff. If you're new to our PokerGo Tour, the PGT, we have a year-long leaderboard. The top 40 qualifies for our million-dollar free roll. You can follow the standings on pgt.com slash leaderboard. We also have news, daily updates, live reporting of all of our events on pgt.com as well. So stay in the know with everything we have going on on the website. And like our video and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube as we will live stream tons of events here in the coming weeks and months. This is our finale of the kickoff series. I'd say probably the, the closest thing poker has to a sports league you know not that All in. it's exactly identical but you know she folded i would thing. jam 
Ooh, interesting. I had a little pair, though. By the way, blinds now up to 25k, <laughs> 50k. Interesting. Laskowitz getting involved here right away. By the way, the players went on a break. You guys didn't even notice. It's called time travel. We got the. know what I would do, actually. We got the hack. Yeah, it's very close. Yeah. I don't know. It's probably cool. Hey, Sado? No. Sounds like the neighborhood. Neighborhood. Uh, it's King Queen. Different hand class, kind of. Damn it. <laughs> Negrano with a big hand again, especially now that we're four-handed. King Jack off going up in value. I saw lots of predictions in the chat, people saying it's going to be Negrano versus Fox and heads up. Oh, well, the way it's yeah. trending right now, that is a very has a very high uh, probability quarter, as they are the two big stacks. Sobian all in for 14 bigs onto Negrano's raise. They got the same hand, so yeah, they say likely do. a chop here. <laughs> no, you can't win. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're like literally 50-50. Yep, different suits. I won't root for I folded anybody. one of each suit, so still 50 Okay, I got the hearts and clubs, right? <laughs> okay. Folded a club and a spade. Aram Zobian's term of life on the line. Oh. You're expecting Let's see if the flop can make this a bit more exciting. Math. There's hearts. Uh, <laughs> there it is, ace, king, eight. It's going to be a chop between these two guys. <laughs> yeah, the, dr the drama of this spot. Like, you really need to, oh, and the return card is. <laughs> That's where you got to use some common sense there, producer. <laughs> Shout out to the crew. Yeah. Producer well Aiden. Done. We got DK running the show on the camera. Camera for my mama. Oh, cool. Uh, gave it to me for Christmas. Aw. It's the little things. Yes. You know? Literal. <laughs> Anyone been to Egypt? Huh? Egypt? Have I been to Egypt? Yeah. No. No WPT Cairo? No. Is there one there? <laughs> that would be cool. Final table on top of the pyramid. I was going to do the Afghani poker tour, but it just didn't take off. <laughs> no chance you do the, uh, the cruise, right? No. They're on like a floating prison. I've been on cruises before. I like them. Zobian this time, ace deuce suited in the small blind, still sitting on about 14 big blinds. Would not be surprised to see a shove here again. And 470 might as well be a shove. Negrano this time, let's go of the ace five. Zobian looking to get healthy as Negrano and Foxen have created quite a nice gap between them and the rest. Payouts can be found in the description of our YouTube stream. We are live, coming at you from the PokerGo studio in Las Vegas. You can always come and watch. The only issue with this set is that you cannot actually go into this room where all the cameras are. PokerGo Cup is coming up in just a few days, and the, the building will be open. You can come in and check it out, take some pictures. Perhaps get an autograph of your favorite player in our bar area on break. It's a who's who of the international high roller poker scene. So if you're a poker fan and you come to Las Vegas, just try to see if the door opens when you're in town. We are just a short walk away from the Aria Poker Room. And you can always check our schedule on pokergo.com slash schedule to find out whether we are streaming or playing when you're in town. Buy-in today was $10,000. 50 total players. $165,000 up top. But Donnie, you know, the, the payouts, of course, for someone like a Negrano who plays for millions of dollars all the time, payouts you know, might not even be the most important thing. 
there's there's two other elements here. Getting off to a good start of the year, good for confidence, just good for your overall feel of the table, and uh, double points in the race for the leaderboard. Yeah, the, the leaderboard is, I would say, front of mind for Daniel Negreanu. You know, he loves the competition aspect of tournament poker and the PGT specifically, trying to get into that top 40, trying to make it to that million dollar free roll. And this being double points, you know, that added benefit to kickstart your 2024 PGT campaign. Certainly something that draws him in. 330 points up top for this event. You know, normally it would be 165 under the normal rules, but as you mentioned, double points offered for this series. Do you want to see if you have a good hand first? 895. Now, no one will be able to catch oh, Mr. David Coleman, <laughs> who's at the top <laughs> of the leaderboard. He, uh, it's actually kind of surprising that he didn't make this final table because the first four events of this kickoff series, if you were with us on some of the previous live streams, of course, if you missed them, you can go back on our YouTube channel and watch all of them. But David Coleman was at every single final table. He won two of the events. He's up on top of the leaderboard by quite a big margin. He's got 590 points. Aram Zobian is the closest to David Coleman. He comes into this event, does Zobian with 156 points. So it would be kind of a nice boost very, very, uh, for very Zobian close. as well. He finished second to Coleman in the first event of the PGT kickoff series. This is Negreanu's first <laughs> tournament of the 2024 PGT <laughs> season, not the 2024 calendar year, because, of course, we did see him win the first tournament of the PGT Last Chance series. So it, it does appear that the quality over quantity approach that Daniel is taking for 2024 is working. At least so far, so good. He did come out at the beginning of the year. You know, he ran through his poker stats from the previous year just as he does at the end of every year or going into the new year for every single year. And he was down 2.2, 2.3 million. Kind of talked about, you know, some of it being bad luck, some of it that he maybe he just played too much. You know, he didn't give himself a chance to, to rest, to get, you know, oh. his mental game where it needs to be. And that's then what, what has led him to wanting right to take under a million. The, Quality over quantity yeah. approach. Too many, right? Yep, too many. Nine, too many. twenty. So being shoves there and gets it through on Negreanu, who puts those pocket threes in the muck. Zobian has been eager to get the money in, and he's been getting the type of cards to get aggressive with. Is still on top with 63 big blinds. Donnie, it's not going to be an easy battle here to take this down from the ground, or despite you know the chip lead and him feeling well. These these players are going to give him a serious contest. Yeah, and you know everyone is pretty deep. I mean, even Laskowitz has, has the short stack, still has um, you know 18 and a half, a little bit more big blinds. So everyone's healthy. Kristen Foxen especially healthy there with. 45 big blinds in her stack, and she's also been very aggressive, so I think she's certainly going to be a handful for Daniel to battle with. And here they go. Heads up in a blind battle. Foxen just takes that one with a quick bet on the flop. If you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell as we have daily content being released on our channel. Hmm. Lots of poker action to come in 2024. It's only January, but I feel like we're already getting ready for the World Series of Poker. Of course, we're gonna the go biggest to Florida? Yes. series of tomorrow. the year. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey, you guys, go hard. I know. Not, not for too much longer. Yeah. <laughs> I keep saying that, and then there's one more stop, one more. <laughs> Alex and Kristen Foxen, probably among the highest volume players on the tour, can find them <laughs> at any given point playing in a 
big tournament. Fox and raising it up with ace 10 offsuit here. Negrano in the small blind with a nice pseudo connector. Negrano makes the call. Laskowitz potentially getting a decent price here to call from the big blind. Does the side to let it go. But those hands can be tricky to play three ways. I mean, even if you are suited, can can still be a little bit tricky. Probably a little bit more inclined to call suited, but you know, unsuited three ways as, as the short stack. Also have to factor in you know the aggression of at least Kristen Fox who would be in position on the hand. So quick check check on the flop here. Negrano hits a pair of sixes. Foxen. Picks up a gut shot on the turn. Has those two big cards as well. As Negrano leads out for 100k. A little bit surprised to not see Foxen bet that flop. It feels like it might be an auto C bet on, on that flop, but she likes to check behind with the ace high, maybe thinking, you know, this ace high has a little too much showdown value, so I'll just check it back. River card is the king of hearts, counterfeiting Negrano's pair of sixes. Foxen now best with two pair, kings and queens with the ace kicker. Half a million in the middle. Negrano checks Three Foxen pairs. checks behind. <laughs> the, uh, I had you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, no, I lose. Yeah. <laughs> Negrano loses this one after an unfortunate river card for him. Fox and now almost into the chip lead. Um, Matthew in the chat is asking, are you going to continue to uploading main events to the YouTube channel? Yes, we will. Might take a few days off here to push some highlights from our kickoff series, maybe some compilations from best hands of 2023. Uh, but I think we're going to resume some main event action, some classics, uh, probably on Monday, maybe earlier. Uh, but it's good to see you guys like the WSOP throwback action that we've been posting on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you like those, please leave comments on those videos. Uh, hit those like buttons as well because it helps us uh, sort of figure out what you guys enjoy. Fast Eddie says, I will only hit the like button if you say my name. I will never say your name, Fast Eddie. Forget about it. <laughs> Amal says, is this actually live? No, it's not. I'm reading this from the future. Much love, chat. I, I always love engaging with you all. Foxen raising it up with queen six of clubs. Zobian, for the first time in a while, doesn't get a hand to play with, so he just <laughs> lets it go. Thank you, Ken Direct. He says, really loved last week following along with the 2010 WSOP again on a daily Sunday schedule. Or the Hard Rock I think I went one time. Yeah. <laughs> that was enough. I was annoyed. I got annoyed. I sent the wire. Oh, it's it was there. And they're like, well, he doesn't have your name on it. I'm like, what do you think? I'm a random dude who just walked up. Like, can I get 100K credit? And they were like, it was just such a hassle. I got tilted. It's so bad. Yeah. We've had the same issues. I think everyone has. But yeah, Ken, we're going to keep posting more WSP throwbacks. We're just trying to warm you all up for the upcoming World Series of Poker by posting some more of that throwback stuff. As Negrano raises it up here with 8-6 of spades. Foxen comes along with King-9. King-4-3, all diamonds. Foxen again with the best of it.
Negrano perhaps finding the worst possible turn card as he hits a pair of eights. It's going to be hard for him to beat Foxen's king. He's going to continue firing though after Foxen called 100k on the flop. Now on the turn betting 250. Curious to see if Daniel has three streets in him here. Certainly does look like it might be trending that direction. And if he does pull the trigger here on the river, it's probably going to put Chris and Fox in quite a bit of a pickle. Almost a million in the middle. River card, three of spades, pairs the board. Check. Looks like Check. he's going to be checking Check. behind you. Yep. King. King's good. This goes back to what I mentioned earlier about body language. Negranu on the river immediately sort of surrendering and going for the check there. Smart check by him as Kristen Foxen had top hair. And now for the first time since the start of the final table, Daniel Negranu no longer the chip leader. Kristen Foxen on top. She now sits on 3.2 million. Negrano down to 2.4, but still very healthy. We've got Laskowitz and Zobian as our two shorter stacks, both below a million right now. This is not going to be an easy one for Negrano to win. It's never easy. It's never, ever easy. Zobian, king queen offsuit. 19 big blinds to start the hand. Donnie, often we're gonna just want to raise small here. Yeah. 670. Well, there goes. 670,000. <laughs> that. You want to count? No, no, we're fine. Couple of tens here. Four. He Daniel Negranu. Wow. We could be looking at a massive Not coin folded. flip situation here. Yeah, all in. You're all in. moves all in. <laughs> Zobian. Yeah, fair fight. With the quick call, called like for the additional 325,000. <laughs> What's this? It's oh, we're going to flip. I get flip. it. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like we're <gonna> flip. <laughs> That's a very good flipping hand. Right there. Zobian so? just breaks out the flip phone out of nowhere. Two million in the middle. Zobian <laughs> looking for a king or a queen. Negranu hoping for his tens to hold up. Here comes the flop. Big coin flip. Ace in the window. Eight, eight behind it. Very good flop for Negranu right now. Zobian does have backdoor diamonds available Queen to spades. him. Jack of diamonds. We got Jack of diamonds, a fun one. Zobian, Queen six outs Yoko right Fuka. now. Turn card, deuce of clubs. Still Yoko, six outs Yoko for Aram Fuka. Zobian. If he doesn't hit, <laughs> he will be no, our fourth it. place finisher. Can he find it or will he walk to the exit? River card is the six of clubs. He cannot find it. Aram Zobian eliminated in fourth place. He takes home $50,000. And Daniel Negranu rakes in the pot and retakes the chip lead. Kristen Foxen was our chip leader for just about two hands. Negranu now back on top. And Donnie, we're, are we about to watch a heads up battle with a spectator at the table as Samuel Laskowitz <laughs> like has just 16 big blinds? <laughs> Oh, you can play yourself yeah, over. To, to ladder up. You did work on your side. Three handed <laughs> play. <laughs> Players now guaranteed $70,000 with the double points at play here. That's 140 PGT points. I, I would expect now, you know, Laskowitz probably ramps up the aggression a little bit, you know, just trying to maybe, maybe take some more gambles in some spots to double up. You've made it to three-handed play. Okay, pretty cool. good, Thank you. considering how the day has gone. You are at a pretty big deficit to both Negranu and Foxen. 
I see Fox in here with two nines right wow. away. Magrano, ace, eight, offsuit in the small blind. Laskowitz, like we said, the short stack in the big. Call. Magrano just with the call. Eight, five suited for Laskowitz. Donnie, is that the type of hand you like to get involved with? I think this one's probably fine to get in there. I mean, you know, kind of going back to one, it's suited, you know, two, your hand's probably not going to be dominated too often. I mean, it will be at times, of course. And then also, you know, I think you got to gamble at times. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Top set for Kristen Fox and Laskowitz with a flush draw. Negrano has the ace of spades, so... If we somehow make it to the turn with three players, a spade could make things really interesting, but I cannot imagine Foxen checking behind here. Eighty thousand is the bet from Foxen. Daniel does have the ace of spades, so let's we'll see what he wants to do. Donnie Sherlasko is here. Is this an invitation to just move all in? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, you know, you're short. You don't have that big of chips. I mean, I think you flop enough equity here that you just want to make sure you see five. And th there's going to be times when, you know, you just check jam and they both fold, right? You know, obviously not this time, but. Yeah, Laskowitz, of course, would be happy to shove and get two folds, and then he has the on. flush draw as a backup option. He does move all in. Kristen Foxen asking for a count. We know she's not going anywhere. Perhaps Donnie trying to feint a bit of weakness here? Yeah, maybe a little bit of that. Of course, you know, she wants the count as well to see, you know, how I'm going to proceed in this hand. Am I going to just flat here in position, and which could potentially... Invite Negreanu in for a call, maybe entice Negreanu to put in a raise. You know, at least at the current moment, Kristen Foxen is sitting there with the nuts. She has the absolute best hand. She's going to call, and Daniel gets out of the way quickly. All right, Laskowitz, tournament life on the line. Negreanu happy to get out of the way for this clash as Laskowitz looks for a spade to survive. Ace of spades no longer an option as Negreanu <laughs> folded that. Too many. Some seven Did outs here. No, oh, okay. no. I had one of his outs. <laughs> Spade. I have seven outs plus some back doors. There. Exactly <coughs> right. Seven outs plus some back doors for Laskowitz. So it's not done yet. 1.7 million in the middle. Laskowitz doubling up here would really change the game. Turn card is the five of clubs. That doesn't do anything for him. As Fox already has a set, so that pair kind of a waste. Laskowitz looking for a spade to survive, or else we will be heads up between Kristen Foxen and Daniel Negreanu. River card. Okay. Is the ace of diamonds, mm -hmm. and Samuel Laskowitz busts out in right. third All place. Right. <laughs> Laskowitz takes home $70,000 for, for his efforts. Yes. And we are now heads up between Negreanu and Foxen. Did you win the tournament in this series? Oh, no, it was the series no, before. No, it, it was the, yeah, That's the right. last chance one. Yeah, you and Daniel, right? Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you say his last name. I <laughs> <won't try. laughs> yeah. Are we on the new, uh, oh, not yet. So I am big. Okay. Yeah. All right, let us know in the chat who you're rooting for. Are you on Team Daniel or Team Wait, Kristen? So I can only imagine. Now, or would you we say got plenty Canadian? of you. Okay. Two Cana Canadian. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Two Canadians, heads up in the studio. Both living okay. in Las Vegas. <laughs> get, get it over with. <laughs> Alex said he felt like we were going to go heads up. Me and you? Yeah, it's Ow. weird. I don't know. He said that. He was like... He's had a feeling? Yeah. It's weird how those Samuel premonitions... Samuel Laskowitz like, there going like out in third. I, I know. feel like we're going to more continue often right to than not, see although more that's probably more not true, but it feels on, like I know PGT. it does. You know, he's, I think, thoroughly impressed us here on the PGT. The players in these fields and a lot of the audience members, he's made you know several appearances now at some of the PGT final tables. So I think we'll just continue continue to see him. You know, the the former lawyer, now turned professional poker player, certainly a bright mind, and he's doing pretty well for himself in these streets. All right, first hand of heads up play. It took us 70 hands to get down to heads up play. I would have taken the over on 70 hands to get down to heads up. Stacks were deep, of course. If you remember, 
our, pri our prior final tables, sometimes we were three, four-handed with like 10 bigs average. And now we have 85 bigs for Fox and 64 for Negreanu. So, you know, it's not ha it's not a, heads a high stakes duel, but it, it might as well be a serious heads up match here between two of the best. I think any time we get either Foxen at a final table, the aggression of everything just, just kind of goes up a few notches. You know, well, we've you seen it what? plenty of times. Uh, I was he was just said Kristen and Hugh Alex just repeated are, that he's like you oh, that, yeah that you thought we were gonna heads up yeah oh, coffee delivery. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Tony, where's our coffee? I got mine right here, man. Oh man, I feel like I'm falling behind on the caffeine right now. I mean, now. Alex isn't doing anything. Put, can somebody put a call in? <laughs> if you're just tuning in, your timing has been perfect. How many hands? We got Daniel Negreanu heads up for his Where second title of the year. Huh? Oh, we do it now. Oh, okay. Okay. This one. No, no. Second title of the year, and I think he's only played three, maybe four tournaments. I mean, obviously there's you know some re-entries in there, but. He played that first PGT kickoff event. He won it. I think he played one, maybe two others during that series. Played the PGT championship. So that was a free roll that he got into via qualifying to the top 40. And then he didn't play anything at the kickoff series until this tournament here. So he's doing pretty well for himself, I, I would say. Yeah, Negrano's betting aver ba batting average is going to be, I mean, Betting average, batting average, almost the same thing, right? <laughs> I mean, we're talking about poker here. Uh, deuces for Negrano. Foxen with the mystery card. Yeah, Foxen raised this one on the button to 125, and Negrano called. 200,000. Looks like Foxen sizing up here a little bit. Oh. 200K and gets that one through. She had two kings. Wow. <laughs> She said queens twice at this final table. She just had kings there, so. And one of those times she had queens. <laughs> we know what happened. I'm shocked. What's, what's what suit? Her husband the had ace aces, of hearts again. Queen oh, 50 50. On the yeah. flop. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yeah, exactly. Wait, what was the other option? Oh, one or two, okay. One the flip. <laughs> Daniel Negreanu. Went quite a while without winning an event, dating back to his Super High Roller Bowl win in 2022. Oh, now he can win basically two events outright in the span of just 10 days. So now the blinds go up to 30K, 60K with a 60K big line ante. No okay. break, so the players are going to continue playing. They're still super deep, man. And they've both won 21 hands at the final table. It's going to be interesting because they, earlier, right? they play um, somewhat of no, I got, old where did opposing I come? styles. Third. You know, but we, Kristen Fox the guy is, who won busted Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Same right. He had one more chip than And Daniel, yes. of course, Kirsten likes yes. to play the yeah. small ball, right? Yeah, that was so kind of crazy. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Delfontis over in the Poker Go chat says, when will he not be Kid Poker at 60? <laughs> I mean, he's Kid Poker forever. As long as he keeps the energy that he has, he's forever Kid Poker. It is great to see Negreanu up to his usual talkative self. That last chance event, he was a bit more subdued. Now, of course, very chatty for the duration of this final table. Donnie, if, if I were to recommend a friend who is just a casual poker fan, if I were to re recommend that person to watch a stream, whether it's live or, of course, on demand, I would tell them to watch this one. This one has everything. It has good all-ins, fun hands. We got some bluffs. We got some 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 good reads, and we got lots of table talk with some stories about Amarillo Slim in the past. So, if you're only just tuning in, it's well worth going back later no on to watch the beginning of this final table. Yeah. <laughs> I do have confirmation, by the way, that. Tournaments this season that require a buy-in. Negreanu has played three. This is his third. So <laughs> pretty good betting average, as you coined it not too long <laughs> ago, with the fact that he won the first one, bombed out of the second one that he played, but now he's heads up here in the third one. Chris 
Fox and Foxen takes that one down with a raise from the big blind after Daniel tried to limp in from the button. That specifically might be a little bit of a theme here as well where, you know, Daniel's going to try and see a lot of flops, especially in position. And Kristen Foxen That's might try and drive the aggression yeah. and raise yeah. things up a little bit. I'm kind of glad you're the chip lead here. <laughs> I know, I know. Because it's like, it could take a long time. So I know. I think they played heads up for a long time the other day. Like we mentioned before, double points up for grabs in the race for the PGT standings in this event, which to these two players is oh. almost more or at least mm. equally important to winning the cash because qualifying for the end of year million dollar free roll gives you a chance to win 500k, which is uh, pretty insane. You know, as you mentioned earlier, if people want all information about the PGT, pgt.com. And I will say that, you know, coming up January 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, those are three satellite days for the Poker Go Cup. On the 22nd and the 23rd, each of those days, there's an $1,100 satellite here at Aria. And then on the 24th is a $560 satellite. Got to get back to the action here, though. Here we go. Huge pot developing the run with three betting to 560 k Foxen. Ace Queen offsuit, massive hand here. Donnie, if you're Fox and out of position, are we are we in four bet territory here just to take that initiative? Yeah, and she, she might just elect to just four bet rip this. I, I know it's big, but you know, don't maybe don't want to make things a little bit awkward. Five hundred to five sixty. Okay. She's gonna call. just call. I yep. owe you one? Yeah. Okay. More than a million in the middle, almost 1.2 out there. Negranu has the inferior hand. He is dominated here, but he has position. So let's Oops, see so. how this one mm -hmm. goes. Sure. Donnie, how worried are you right now cool. getting called if you're Negranu? I mean, y you have to be worried, right? You have to. Be, I think she has a good hand. You know, she's not just getting in there with, you know, random stuff, but you have position, right? And you can see how this one plays out. Check. Now this sort of board, I think, might favor Negranu a bit here. He's also got, you know, an interesting little connection here. He's got the ace four spades. Some back doors here, of course, the immediate inside straight draw. Mm -hmm. Wow, he moves all in right away for twice the size of the pot, and Foxen with a snap fold. Daniel Negreanu is on top of his game, realizing that a lot of the time he's going to be up against those types of hands. Ace, king, ace, queen. Good luck making the call in a spot like that. Yeah, and I mean, he, he probably figures if she's got a hand that ultimately flops an overpair there, eights, nines, tens, she's probably just going to try and get those hands in pre-flop, so maybe he takes those out of the equation. There might be some times, though, that she flats very large, two aces, for example. Hmm. But he can say, mm. uh, I got the blocker, I like right? So three. That could have been a big pot, maybe, maybe not. Ace five? Oh, ace, if I had you ace five? You have ace five? Maybe. If I have ace five, then, then I, guess I wouldn't call the... Gold, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah, yeah. If she puts that in pre, in you know, the hand's done. I, I don't envision <laughs> Daniel Legrand, who's calling it off there for, you know, 50 big blinds or whatever it was with ace four suited. Donnie, I got adrenaline going through my veins. This has been an awesome final table. We've seen some big hands go back and forth and nobody scared to bluff here. As we got again, two big hands clashing, Foxen raising to 150 with queen jack suited and Grano king jack off is gonna make the call. Certain types of textures would really <laughs> Like a jack high one? <laughs> like a jack high one or maybe some, some rainbow or some Broadway cards could make this very exciting. If you're loving the content right now, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel.
Let's see if we can hit 3,000 likes on today's stream. Action goes check, check. Ten of spades on the turn. King high best here, but a stab from Foxen might get it done if Negranu checks again. Could also get done with the stab from Negranu. I mean, it's going to be hard for Kristen Foxen to, to call a bet here on the turn. I mean, she did have an all right looking hand on the flop, you know, three cards to a straight, backdoor clubs. Foxen not immediate with her action right here. Means she's considering something and she's going to come along and make the call. Donnie, is this a call to set up something on the river? Do we think Queen High is good sometimes? What's your read on the situation? Could be a little bit of both, right? You know, maybe at times he's just going to be firing with, like, I don't know, a, a 5 4, for example, right? You know, a bad straight draw. And then she could have aspirations to do some things a little bit bigger, more bold on the river. We have seen her in the past. You know, that hand going back to the one against Aram Zobian where she bluff raised the river with the ace-queen high. You know, that, that comes to mind in, in this sort of spot. Negranu having checked to her, I think this opens the door. For King Jack. Chris. Oh, she does check behind. Mm. <laughs> that might Surprisingly. Be close. No, it wasn't that surprising. I was like thinking Fair. of my calling river. I was like, pretty good hand. I mean. Sure. <laughs> Negranu. Gets the showdown with King High, and King High is best, meaning he extends his chip lead, 3.9 million to 3.5 million. Still anyone's game here, as Foxen and Negrano continue their heads of battle here for the title. Much love to Jason in the chat, gifting a PokeGo YouTube membership. Live Lucky, the recipient of that. Our YouTube community gives you access to special emojis you get some additional special content only available for youtube members but of course ultimately you got to check out pokego.com become a mm -hmm. subscriber so you can watch high stakes poker no gamble no future and our entire archive of events as well as exclusive live streams coming up this year if we get to 5000 likes in the video yes i'll give 20 you're going to do 20 subs in the chat yes love it 20 youtube membership subs or whatever they, or they're called YouTube <laughs> community memberships I, yep. I forget the exact term so but we need 5,000 likes on the YouTube video so if you haven't already you guys know what to do hit that thumbs up let's go Negranu Queen Jack takes the lead versus Fox and King High on this ace 10 Jack flop no clubs for either player Negranu bet 60k got a call then hits two pair the only issue being <laughs> Foxen now with a Broadway straight. Action goes check, check quickly. Five of spades on the river. Now Foxen is going to look for some value from her Broadway straight. How big does she want to go here? Pot's at 300K. Very tough to find the bluffs here. Let's see. <laughs> Can we find any? <laughs> what the hell? A couple clubs? Yeah, there's that. What else? 10. And a couple clubs. You probably just have like king. Oh, you raised some clubs. Ah, here. <laughs> Just tough to find them. This doesn't make a lot of <laughs> sense. Is. But I had a very nice hand. I had the king. I had two pair. <laughs> I folded two pair. Beautiful hand. Very Queen sharp Jack suited. <laughs> it's kind of interesting because, you know, years ago when... I guess it's height of the poker boom. The you would often no. see Daniel yeah, yeah, talk yeah. through it's hands in those types of spots. And it's like, I want usually to know call his saying. opponent's yeah, yeah. hand and then <laughs> call the bet. Like, right? Who's he talking to? And then be like, oh yeah, of course to? you have. Who's you know, he talking to? I got. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna introduce you to his friend partner. Yeah. <laughs> this is my partner. <laughs> the big hands keep on coming. Boxing with King Jack off.
Ende zurück die Ferse. Quick fold from the ground when Foxen takes this one down. I mean, these two are virtually tied in chips. Only, what, two big blinds separating the two of them? We could be here for a while, so, uh, probably get yourself another beverage. I didn't even need to gift 20 memberships because Cole did. Wow. Cole gifting the 20 PokerGo YouTube memberships. I'm out here saying we need to get to 5,000 likes, and Cole's just like, screw that, let's go. If you are one of those new recipients of a YouTube community membership, we got some special emojis, and there's a few Daniel Negroni ones in there, so if that's of your rooting interest... Yeah. You can smash those and fire them in. There is one where he's wearing the Batman mask, which is <laughs> <laughs> from an episode of No Gamble in the Future, which is running now on Poker Go. Episodes just about every Wednesday. I'm going to get that for you. I, <laughs> you got it? You sure? I was like, long ways, man. I don't know. We all need very, longer arms. Very sloppy yeah. with my <laughs> technique there. Ace, queen, three, rainbow. On the flop, the third, or excuse me, yeah. second ace on the turn. Fox and queen, best here. One hundred thousand. Negrano betting, a hundred k with this pair of threes. Foxen oh. comes along, happy probably to let Negrano keep bluffing if he doesn't have it, and in the off chance that he does have her beat, she will lose a little bit less. Queen. Beats my three. <laughs> there. Queen's going to take it here as Foxen hits the four million chip mark. If you're watching our stream for the very first time, Negrano, interesting little note here, of course said in his own video that he oh, yep. would not be playing <laughs> as much poker like this year, <laughs> waiting good. for him to feel good to play, the angle raise. choosing quality <laughs> over quantity, Yeah. and guess what, so far that's paying off, he's playing his third event of the year, his first one he won, his second one was our PGD championship, which did not go his way, the free roll. And now here he is, heads up again in event number three of his calendar year. Donnie, my prediction is that with a lower volume but more quality, he's going to win two bracelets this summer. I mean, I think that's a very good prediction, one that could certainly come in. It's, you know, it's not, it's not too bold. We know Negreanu's got the game, what right? What time is it now, Andy? Lines are 30K and 60K. And the events that he plays, you know, during the World Series oh, of Poker, it's those kind of long, actually. Bigger buy-in, yeah. like, smaller it's just field we got tournaments. So fast. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, I mean, I was looking. Yeah. At the short stack has forty bigs. When did you see yeah, that? Yeah, it's crazy. Especially all of the events this week, it's been very shallow. Mm -hmm. People went broke when they were supposed to. Yes. <laughs> Call. The girl limping from. The button fox with a7 in the big blinds. Something I've learned from Negranu just last week. He texted me after I said on the commentary uh, about the big blind ante, making it inviting to play aggressive. And he texted me and he said, no, it's actually the opposite. It invites you to play a little bit more passively, but get involved in a, in a lot more hands. So you're going to see a lot more checking down of flops, turns, and rivers because you want to keep all your 
your, your junk out of the muck, so to say. And uh, here we're seeing an example of that, the only difference being Foxen with top pair, Negrano hits a pair of nines on the turn, so we might see some additional chips go into the middle here. For those unfamiliar with Kristen Foxen's history in poker, multi-time supernova elite on poker stars back when that was still a thing giving you a bit of an indication as to you know how hard she worked how much she was grinding online foxen has a depth of knowledge that's very impressive it's been around the game for a long time it just won her fourth bracelet last year an absolute crusher She's going to charge quite a bit here. Yeah, her seven there blocking some of the straight possibilities. So probably gives her a little bit more confidence to come with this value bet here on the river. For Negrano, of course, that pair of nines looking pretty strong during heads-up play, Donnie. Are we, are we likely to see him make the call here? He could. I mean, I mean, he folded, of course, but there are some bluff, bluffs there that could be had. You know, there's missed spades. I mean, he does have a spade, so maybe removing some of those missed flush draw combos. But so far, we've seen Daniel make, you know, two relatively disciplined folds, you know, not getting a little bit too call happy, even though these two players are very deep. He folded the two pair when Kristen Foxen had the king in her hand for the Broadway straight. There he folds second pair when she had top pair. So even though losing some pots, you know, Daniel kind of keeping the damage to a minimum. Which for, you know, for him, somebody who takes that small adult. ball approach a lot of the time, that can pay a lot of dividends down the road. Out of position here, Negrano raising to 200K with pocket sevens. Foxen in position with nine six. That might not be strong enough to come along with, but she is reaching and, and does make the call. Oh. Is position, you know, that much of an advantage here, Donnie, that you can just see a flop? Yeah, position and also the stack sizes here. I mean, these two are very deep, so if Negrani was a bit shorter, you know, maybe that 9-6 just finds the muck just because you don't have that, you know, th that implied at value to, to get Negrani's stack or get a lot of his stack. And now kind of continuing with that train of thought here on the flop, flopping middle pair, you know, she'll probably be enticed to, to come along here. Negrani comes with 150 on the flop. We can see that the sevens are still ahead of the six. 400. Foxen here raising it up to 400,000. Look at this. This becomes a tough hand to play for Negrano <laughs> because he knows that if he calls, he might be subjected to a lot more big decisions on Turner River. Yeah, and it's a, it's a tricky board where, you know, he's got two red cards. There's a flush draw out there. There's some different straight possibilities. You know, there's an over card. So... This turn card is going to be extremely interesting. Could certainly change kind of the dynamics of the situation. And with her aggression thrown into <laughs> into the mix, I mean, it's not going to be an easy street here on the turn for Negroni to play. Deuce of clubs on the turn gives Foxen a flush draw to go along with her pair. Now, Donnie, we pick up equity, but we still don't have a uh, hand to be super comfortable with, it being the, a pair of sixes. Is Foxen likely to continue firing here? I think she, yeah, I was going to say, I think she might check, ba check back just with that being a club. Oh, oh, oh. She just gets there. Runner, runner, clubs here for Kristen Fox and 1.2 million in the middle. Negranu left with two red sevens. I'm not sure how much additional money is going to go in here. Maybe Negranu wants to turn his hand into a bluff here. 600. Look at that. Wow, he bets 600,000, turning his pair of sevens into a bluff. Foxen has a flush, but it is the six of clubs. But still, Donnie, we're never folding a flush here, right? I mean, 
she could. I don't have it. I have sevens. I have a flush. Oh, you already had it? I, no, well, no. <laughs> no, yeah, I had you. Damn you it. did nice. have me. Good I'm, 600. I'm running hot here. Fox and running like, hot takes no, no, now I'm bluffing. Yep. Commanding chip lead after winning this hand. 5.6 million to 1.8 million. Daniel Negreanu with a with a bluff on the river that was you know, perhaps unlucky timing. A little bit of unlucky timing there. Wonder if he questions wanting to go larger with the sizing. I mean, still, you know, Kristen Foxen's got to make the call there. Uh, Not necessarily the easiest call with just the six high flush. Seeing a, a, a poker fan from Greece in the chat. I, I, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce your your Greek name, <laughs> which is showing in I wasn't uh, even Greek sure symbols. If I had to but he calls. said <laughs> 2 a.m. Yeah, in Greece. Sure I didn't. It makes sense, anyways. I was pretty sure I didn't, but. <laughs> he said 2 a.m. in Greece, loving the stream, and I, I have to stay up for this, uh, which leads me to ask the question, where is everyone watching from right now? Let us know in the chat. Very much appreciate everyone for tuning in, and while you're at it, hit that like button Kay. and subscribe Sorry. to our channel. Curious to see if we got the whole globe covered, and given our viewership, I'm pretty sure that we do. 5-3 uh, deuce on this next flop here, two diamonds out there. Negranu. With a gut shot, straight draw, Foxen lays it down. Up Don, now. This is far from far from over, right? Negron is still with plenty of chips to okay. maneuver with. Yeah, I mean he's. I think he's doing well. Oh, I was gonna say he's got more than 30 big, <laughs> but the blinds are going up, so his stack, you know, trimmed a little bit, but you know he's still pretty healthy. At around 25 big blinds for Dean Eggs. AKA Kid Poker. Over in the Poker Go chat, I'm seeing Austria, New Jersey, Ohio, Mississippi, Arizona, oh, Illinois, Sweden, Lord, Gibraltar. Gibraltar from right, one point, like the two million. Gibraltar okay. Hammer oh, right. is his oh. screen name. That's, that's a good one. Got the Big Apple out there. Me first. Thank you guys for tuning in, of <laughs> course. Queen seven off for Foxen. Once again, raising territory. 200. Everyone's representing in the chat. Absolutely awesome to see. Two hundred K from Fox and Negrano calls with nine six of diamonds. But yes, blinds did go up forty K, eighty K. So we have a bit more pressure on Negrano. Ten do seven, all clubs. Seven for Foxen. Negrano with a gut shot, but of course, not the type of draw you're excited about when there's already three clubs out there. One point. Let's it go. Bravo Squid says, is this the end of the tournament? Well, it will be at some <laughs> point. It is uh, currently one-on-one -on -one poker. Negrano versus Foxen. It was good to get that first win of the year for Kristen Foxen. This would get her year started in the right way as well. This is what I mentioned earlier. The price is just too good to fold. Fox and, excuse me, a Negrano with 7-3 suited makes the call from the button with 7-3 of spades. You just want to go see a flop there. The price is so good. 250. Fox and, however, has ace-jack offsuit and she goes for the aggressive approach. And Negrano coming along here with 7-3 of spades. Yeah, just, you know, it's suited. Probably figure your cards are live, so you can just play this one in position. 
again, they're, I mean, they're still like, I guess deep-ish for what you normally see during heads-up play, so. Hello. Couple of threes there. Just, <laughs> just what the doctor ordered for Negrana, who's been on the losing end the last few hands. Foxen taking control before the flop is going to continue, showing some aggression. Perfect situation if you flop trips. 140. 140. Kristen Foxen, winner of four World Series of Poker bracelets. 280. Negrano has eight, seven, eight, and eight. I think he has eight, right? Off the top of my head. He just clicked it. I believe he's only got seven. Min race here from the ground, making it 280. Just because Foxen has the jack of clubs here, Donnie, is is that going to make her want to continue and see a turn card? And the ground only has six bracelets, by the way. Wow. It feels like it's been so long. Slacking. Always forget about it. <laughs> Slacking. <laughs> Listen, it's not like he's not trying, okay? <laughs> he's <laughs> out there firing every single summer. I mean, she's got a good hand. She's got the jack of clubs. Ace high can be good here. Big turn card coming here. Negrano, 94% to win this, as you can see by the odds on your screen. Eight of clubs hits on the turn. Donnie, this gives Foxen more outs, but it also gives her more trouble. Yeah, it does, because it could entice her to, to stick around, you know, depending on what happens here or what sizing Daniel comes with. Deliberate actions here with the title on the line. Negrano looking back down at his stack, trying to figure it out. He's got a pot size, pot size bed behind Donnie. Would you be surprised to see him shove here? There are going to be some times he puts this in. Sometimes he comes with a little smaller sizing. Two eighty. Oh, and he continues very small. This opens the door for Foxen to see a river card. See some people in the chat rooting for the seven of clubs specifically. That, of <laughs> course, would give Foxen a flush, but it would make Daniel a full house. Wow. She stays disciplined there and puts her hand Excited into the muck. And <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird one. <laughs> I don't know. Daniel pulls in those chips. Nice. Daniel back up over 2.3 million. Something smelled fishy, but. 29 big yeah. lines. Just I don't about know. two to one <laughs> disadvantage. We'll two find out. I could have been dead. I could have been great. I don't yeah. Well, you weren't dead. Well, she said something <laughs> smells fishy, and, and, and she read it perfectly. Kristen Foxen. Yeah, I think it was that, like, the, the just the min raise, the flop, then going very small. You know, just, it was tricky, tricky. So you have about 2.2? Two two? Yep. Okay. Very well. A, a very good discipline there from Foxen, not trying to see a river card there. Still maintaining her chip lead. Still two to one. Foxen electing to raise here on the button with eight three of diamonds. And the ground comes along from the big blind queen five off. Jack ten six three a uh, two diamonds. Four diamonds now for Foxen. Bet and a fold, and Foxen extends her chip lead. If 
you're enjoying the show here on YouTube. Hit that what like button. Let's get us to 4,000 likes here. What's that? Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, 4,000 likes should be within reach here as all of you are watching the show tonight. Tonight, tomorrow, this morning, this evening. <laughs> I feel like we're in every time zone. It's uh, 4 p.m. in Las Vegas on a Tuesday. I did, not, I did not think my Tuesday would be this exciting, Donnie. Yeah. It's a good Tuesday. 3.20. Negrano limping in with King-10. Interesting to note here, too. He limped in with 7.3 suited. Now he's limping in with King-10. Is that what they mean with uh, balancing ranges? Yeah, I mean, you know, it also allows him just to play in position and avoid spots where, you know, Kristen Voxen might be three-betting him and Daniel thinking about something here. Is it call? Is it shove? Owen? There it is. There is the shove. Negranu applying the David pressure with King 10 and gets it done without showdown. John Abbott, Stephen Blair, limping is pimping over in the YouTube chat. If limping is pimping, I didn't use one till heads up. What is three bet jam? Oh wow, <laughs> yeah, that's I had impressive. My full stack. I tend to use them pre-flop, and then yeah, now with the twenty, it makes yeah. more sense. Like before, yes, yeah. I like the twenty. It's good. Maybe yeah. a little more time banks. Yeah, it's true. The dynamics of heads-up play are so fascinating. You're trying to basically trick your opponent, squeeze out that value at the same time, also you know win more pots than your opponent does because the ante is so big. So an aggressive approach, winning a lot of small pots, also can really pay its dividends. And now we got Ace Little versus Ace Little going heads up. Negrano flopping a pair, Foxen with the Ace of Diamonds. We get checked all the way down to the river. And Negrano's deuce is best here. Not a whole lot to fight for, but we'll see if Foxen wants to take a stab at this. And she it does. Very milky. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. Feels like you're going to show me a four. Go ahead. Show me a four. Ace high. Better ace high with a deuce. All right. <laughs> Might not seem Felt like milky. a lot, Donnie, but Fair. winning those <laughs> kind of big deal for Negrano. If you call there and lose, you, you you are sort of getting pushed back even further. Yeah, of course. I mean, he's the shorter stack. Every time he picks up even one, two, or three big blinds, you know, it's meaningful. Adds to his stack, makes him a little bit deeper, closes that gap. Also probably, you know, feels pretty good and generally when you're making the right calls, making the right decisions. You know, Daniels felt like he's been pretty much on point this entire final table and also during heads up play. You know, he made a couple good folds uh, during heads up play. There he made a good call in heads up play. Of course, the one that didn't go his way was when he had the two red sevens and his bluff got picked off by Kristen Foxen, but still feels like he's he's pretty dialed in. You can say the same for Kristen Foxen. She also feels extremely dialed in. So it's making for qu quite an entertaining heads up battle here. I mean, they're playing poker. They're deep. It's fun. Limped pot here. Both players flopping a pair. Negrani's pair is second best, but he's got that five working for a gut shot straight draw. And he calls Foxen's bet. Seven on the turn. It's another heart. 
Neither player with a heart. 480k out there in the middle. Fox knows first, and she checks. We'll see if Negrani wants to bet at this one, or if he just wants to check back and, in the words of Brent Hanks, take that equity to the dome. He does check back six on the river. Now trips four, Kristen Foxen. Half pot here from Daniel. Can't imagine Kristen is ever folding this hand, so she's going to be debating between calling or raising here. Just hit 4,000 likes on the video. Appreciate you guys over on the YouTube channel. Hell yeah. Let's go. I did say I'll drop 20 YouTube community <laughs> memberships at 5,000 likes, so we're trending that way. Ray's here from Kristen Fox in 550. Kind of smallish here. Daniel can find another disciplined fold here. Maybe, maybe there might be some possibility he's got other plans in mind. Uh, I don't. I don't know now. These. Oh, I thought she said raise to five fifty. It's nine fifty. My my fault on that. I thought I heard her say five fifty. Big race from Foxen with trips. Negranu considering making a big call here. Wow, he makes the call. Yeah. Jack six. Six. yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah. Kristen Foxen breaks right? in a yep. huge one. Right when we were thinking Negranu is slowly chipping away at her, making Nine. a comeback, he loses the, this big pot thinking that she might be bluffing, Nine. and now 50. he is down to 1.4 million. Trouble brewing for Daniel Negranu. Yeah, oh, another miss a step there. So his when two I bet it, I said I was going to call it. Yeah, stuck with it. Fair. <laughs> have been, <laughs> and I think the two biggest pots. Mm. The ace four versus the ace queen, I think, was another big pot, but he was, you know, he played that one well and won that pot. But the bluff with the sevens there, calling incorrectly there on the river at least incorrectly when it comes to the results of the hand because Kristen Foxen did have him beat with trips. She's now up over 6 million. He's got below 1.5, so... Did I pay my time banks? Um, no. Two, right? Yes. Yeah. A four to one chip Are advantage for Kristen Foxen as she looks to close this one out here at the finale of the PGT kickoff series against none other than Daniel Negreanu. They are playing for a difference of $60,000 in prize money, $165,000 to the winner. Can Daniel Negreanu come back? Can he come back? I mean, Foxen is... Dominating this match so far. She's also making some hands, which obviously helps, but she's slowly but surely extended her lead here. As we see, 9-9-3 nine, nine, on the flop, and Negrano hitting a pair of threes.
180. Daniel comes with a check raise here. and makes the call at 7-8 you know wrapped a little bit around the 9 it's also got backdoor clubs yeah it's the modern game of poker if you even as much as sort of have a sliver of the flop you're going to be excited to see the turn the turn <laughs> in this case not very helpful for Foxen but still she has options here Negrano with just a pair of threes not looking too strong. Ten seconds. One seventy-five. One seventy-five. No incentive for Foxen to play this slow as she has nothing going for her. But for the Groner, this is also a terrible situation. You're short. You only have a pair of threes. You know that Foxen can do this with air as well as with strong hands. The fact that it wasn't raised before the flop, perhaps giving Negrano a bit more confidence and again, the counterfeit. This happened earlier with kings and queens on board. Okay, I hear chips, so that must mean audio is back. Remco just left the room to plug the power back in or something. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, use my fists, let, let, let them do the talking, get everything sorted. It's always nice to hear chips, Donnie. It is nice to hear chips. We do apologize for that. Picking Great up time. the action here. Oh, one more hand? Okay, still fold. Boxing mm -hmm. with the top pair and the nut flush draw. Takes it down with a bet. Kristen Foxen still in the lead here. Heads up, event number five of the PGT kickoff series. First series of the 2024 PGT season.
What if something really obscene was said and they just hit the mute button, Donnie? No, we, we'll, we we'll, don't. Nev we'll never know. No, <laughs> we, we don't do that. <laughs> no, actually, we don't. If, play if players want to say something crazy, we are inviting them to. Everything for the clicks. Gibraltar Hammer said, when I hear the chips, I put that on to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Negreanu, 21 big blinds. Still got some work to do, but perhaps gain some confidence there from that big bluff that worked out in his favor. Eight. Now break. Okay. All right, so players are going on a short break. Uh, we did not have enough of our delay okay. time to cut out the entire break, so... Just so you Sucks. know, we are going on about a three-minute break. More so, three-minute break. Get yourself a drink, maybe a new snack. We'll be back in about three minutes. For grabs for the winner, the pain of losing a flip will always outweigh the joy of winning one. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to our channel. We have 19 days of streaming over the course of the next month, so... Turn on the notification bell so you know when we are live. All in here from Jonathan Cohen. Two nines. And Bonomo has a couple of sixes. Six, six, six. So wait, Cohen has 660,000 chips left while Bonneville has two sixes? Correct. I, I don't know, man. That's <laughs> kind of crazy. Bonneville does go for it with his sixes. And the ground who finds ace jack of spades. Yeah. Two for What's one? Six sixty. Six sixty. He's got chips now to take a shot here if he wants to. Looks like he's getting out the exact amount of the 660. That is the larger shove from Cohen. Negreanu does make the call. Wow. Shmilkovich out of the way, folding one of those jacks. Masashi folds two spades. Here we go. Three-way all-in. Jonathan Three. Cohen and Justin Bonomo are at risk versus Daniel Negreanu. Wow, could this be the start of a turnaround as it pertains to Daniel Legrano on the life felt? 2023 was not his year. 2024 could be off to a hot start if he sends two players to the rail here right after doubling through Justin Bonomo. Negrano, of course, has both these players covered by a wide margin, looking for an ace or a jack or some spades. Let's see the flop. It is 4-7-3, favorable flop for Cohen. Not bad for Bonomo, all things considered. You know, he adds a five there. Could make a straight now. Yeah, Cohen looking for the knockout and the double up all at the same time. Turn card is the queen of spades. It is paint. It is spades, but it is not what Negrano was looking for. Outs remain unchanged. Bonomo looking for a five or a six. Negrano looking for an ace or a jack. River card wow. is the five of clubs, and Justin Bonomo triples up by making a straight on the river. Oh I, I tweeted, I was like, all skill, Pope yes. all skill. Yes. Three cool Welcome cool. back to our heads up battle. Daniel Negrano versus Kristen Foxen. Cool with your husband, <laughs> queens against aces. Yes. Oh, look at this, they've even Whoops. moved them. And we put the trophy on the table. Let's go. Now it's, now it's a real tournament. That's nice right? of them. That's yeah. nice of them. It doesn't happen very often. I feel like we should put money in the trophy and, like, yes. it, you know, 100%. overflows. 100%. Fill it up with some gold coins or something. Let's the, go. Whenever I see a gold trophy and I see Daniel Negrano, I think Sorry. back of <laughs> when he won the Poker Go Cup event and he drank from <laughs> the cup. All right, we're back, chat. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. We're back. Let's go. Audio is working. Everything is going smooth. We got Negrano versus Fox, and it's been an awesome stream already. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And we got could be trouble. Yeah, here I was going to say we got King and King. 
Negranu with king and nine. Foxen with king three flopping two pair. This hand started out so friendly. It was a it was a limp pot. It was check check on the flop. Now on the turn, Foxen bets 200k. Negranu clearly going to value his king here. You can't fault him, Donnie, for thinking this is going to be an awesome chance to double up. Yeah, and he's also got that nine there, which blocks the the jack nine straight possibility. Don't think Kristen would have an ace jack because she's probably raising that pre flop. So. He's got to feel pretty good overall. 700K out there. He's got 1.68 million behind. Let's see what sort of sizing she wants to come with. Wonder if there's ever any world where she just <laughs> two and a half X or you know 2.25 X rips million? this in. One million. Look at that. Wow. Some so that is the overbet. Spidey senses say this isn't good for me, but if I fold this, they'll laugh at me. One million. Man, I'm so dead. How can I be dead though? Fucking good. It's like he knows it. King wow. Three. Oh, I had you, you had you, me. I had king. Yeah, nine. yeah, yeah. You. I was like king nine. Oh wow, uh, yeah. No, you. Blew it either way. You gotta listen to your gut, Daniel. Your gut is always right. Daniel, the flashbacks to folding. like <laughs> the 2005 Fair. World Series of Poker. Negron takes another massive hit yeah, to a stack now broke. down to <laughs> 675. Bet the flop, you raise. Check rate, yeah. It's over. Free life. Look at it that way. <laughs> yeah. You bet if, if I yeah. bet flop, I yeah. think I'm done. Yeah. No, I don't think you can fold there. Unless you just call. If you don't raise, then. Yeah, no, I was going to raise. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a good spot yes. to raise with that hand. Yes. Sure. With all the draws and everything. Yeah. All right, chat. If there was ever a time for you guys to will a comeback for Daniel Negreanu, if that's the side you're on, there are plenty of Kristen Foxen fans out there, but now is the time for the Negreanu fans because he's down greater than 10 to 1 in chips on fumes with C. fewer First than seven big good. blinds. Second one is worse. <laughs> sitting on just four big blinds ladies and gentlemen can he still make a comeback or is, is this is this over now wow gotta start with one double up when they started heads up play they had both won 21 hands right now fox and 35 negranu on 30 hands one and 10-9 offsuit might just be enough to go all in with here yeah, Let's it's probably too dance. much of a hand here. I know it's not the best holding, but, you know, you got to feel decent dance. about it. 475. Queen 5, she probably Close calls snap. this. <laughs> Always a good sign. This is true. All right. You have a face card? <laughs> I do. Oh, you're good. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy Kinda. how That's small the portion huh? of Fox is. Yeah, yeah, there's always a yeah. sin somewhere. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, chat, can Negrano pull out a win? Let us know. 10-9 versus queen-5. 45% equity, so not a bad situation for him. Negrano does need some help. He's going to need a whole lot more help than just this one hand. We're going to need multiple showdowns to go his way. But it always starts with the first one. And a nine in the window with the is nine, going to be a good always, start. That's a favorable. <laughs> you might say. Pair of nines with the flush draw now. Foxen down to just two outs. Looks as though we're going to get some more poker. More draw. poker is better, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants more poker? It's going to be hard. <laughs> Yep. Turn card. Seven of diamonds, and that'll right. seal it. We're going to get some more poker. All right. Nice. Buckle up. Negranu back to 10 big blinds. That's one double up <laughs> for kid poker. Still 
Kristen Foxen, six and a half to one chip advantage for her. Give like nine Ronnie there? Will be well, yeah, 475. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yep. <laughs> the big blind on this hand, so post the big blind ante of 100K and then another 100K yeah. out there for the big blind. 850 yeah, back. Yeah, pressure okay. definitely on Legrano to to chip up quickly here to not get, you know, down that much that you're going to get called again by any two cards. Foxen reaching for that yellow stack to put Negrano See? all in. First one could be good or bad. <laughs> Second one could be good or bad. So there's a very good chance that one of them is an ace. Okay. 50-50 for an ace on that one. Nope. All right, pair it. I don't care. <laughs> well, look at that. Three high. <laughs> I mean, you know what? You know how to sweat? You do the real sweat. No, I don't. Yeah. It's like a back rat thing. So, that, yeah, but when you look at nothing, nothing, it's either an ace, two, or three. Yes. So I had two sweats, but yep. neither of them, none of them were an ace. That's the no cider? Yeah. Yes. Well, you, well, that's, yeah, no cider. Okay. I mean, no cider, two cider is a four or five. Okay. Ah, okay. You look at two no ciders, could be aces, could be. Yeah. I mean, I was very, I was a favorite to have an ace. Yeah. I think, right? You look at two no-siders. Well, if it's only ace two or three, then. Then I'm favored to have an ace, right? Or I don't know if a favorite. What is it? Fine, is I'm not going to do that. Thirty-three percent. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Forget math. You don't yeah. need math in poker. <laughs> <laughs> it's overrated. <laughs> So funny, Donnie. I was about to say, Donnie, explain sweating cards to me, but Negrano did it himself. Moves all in with king nine here, picks up the blinds and antes, and maintains his ten big blind stack. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, very true. Yeah. Then I looked at one, and it was yeah, like a actually, club in the middle. Yeah. Then I was 50-50 Kind of a good for, sweat, yeah. What's that? 50-50 for an ace or a three. Yeah. And nothing in the middle. It's actually a really fun thing to do when you play, like, a uh, single draw, no limit. Okay. Like, sweating the card. Yeah. And you know, so, so basically, you can bluff without knowing you're bluffing. Oh. And you can force people to actually, like, so for example, let's say I have deuce three, four, five. Yeah. I catch a three across. A six, I lose. Yes. Seven or an eight, I have the nuts. Okay. Right? So I could just bet, pot, and then it's indifferent. Yeah. Right? Because you're getting two to one, and I'm two to one to make it. Yes. Oh, interesting. It's a fun thing to do. You can manipulate the sizes. All in. All in. Another sweat. Let's see. Fox Another is like, cool across. story, bro. All in. <laughs> With a two across. So that one's going to have to be... There we go. 50 50. It's again. Boom. <laughs> Keeping me out of trouble. <laughs> Negrano is sweating his cards as if we're. You would like some PLO, but that's it. You would, you would like No Limits. Yeah. You would. Yeah. It's a poker game. Yeah. It's like. I think simple, that's Alex's. That he likes that game. It's a fun game. Yeah. It's like a lot of obviously, a lot of real cool bluffs yeah. you can run. And yes. Like that one, for example. <laughs> like, frankly, yeah. let's say that one. Let's say I know I'm two to one favorite, and I bet one and a half X pot. Yeah. You should fold anyway. Yeah. You know, because, like, I might be bluffing, but you, you still should fold. So if you call, you're making a mistake. Yeah. It is interesting. Or vice versa. If mm -hmm. I bet two thirds pot and you fold, you yeah. make a mistake. You can sort of force people to. <laughs> no limit, just seven single draw. Once considered as the game for the World Series Boker main event, back when it was. More so referred to as Kansas City lowball. Ultimately, Texas won, Kansas lost, and here we are. <laughs> Texas Hold'em. <laughs> the Cadillac like of poker. Snow. <laughs> you know what that means? No. Snow is like a bluff. Let's say you, you have in your hand like deuce, 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 eight, eight. Okay. You have five blockers. Okay. So like a big hand. So you yeah. can just pat. Yeah. And then just bet. Oh, eight. yes, yes. I do know yeah. that. That's called snow? Yeah, it's okay. called snow. That's kind of fun. When you have like yeah. eights and nines, which are cards Make that yep. are irrelevant. Think about no limit deuce to no. seven, and then she can't think about playing heads up Texas hold. What does she have exactly? It's one, two, three, four, five, Perfect. six back. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All in. Kristen Fox and might oh. put this in okay. here, and First she does. All right. Across. <laughs> <We've got laughs> Daniel just can't <laughs> find across, anything. Two across, but they're suited. Oh, seven four though. Let me see. <laughs> Let's see six bigs. Nah. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Sounds he like a just can't seven find four anything seated. to call with every fold. time. It's three deuce, three deuce, seven four, four three. You know. Much, but. <laughs> so got, you know the Negroni fans out there that I said he needs to rally. You, you guys aren't really helping him. Like, you are gonna send the energy. What, what are these here? hands? 
the Poker Girl Cup. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play that. I'm not gonna play the five Ks. Okay. I'll just come in for the second. Yeah. I don't want to burn any energy in the. Yeah. Five that's fair. That's smart. So far, Negrano's strategy of saving his energy for the big ones is paying off. Right now, though, he needs all your yeah. energy. <laughs> Chat, send your energy. <laughs> yeah. Send all of it. Let's dance. Still only five mm -hmm. big blinds now for Negrano. Look at look at the, look at the chips. It's uh, it's almost sad. He's in the big blinds. Got to pay the big blind ante. Doesn't have that much left behind. On, on the brink of elimination, but still a good showing for him, even if he is not able to make a comeback. Off to a good start in 2024. Kristen Foxen, though, we got to give her some credit. Ever since Heads Up Play started, oh, she yeah. has oh, played flawlessly. We've got a pink. I'd card. like to say that's probably enough. Oh, and a four and cross. I don't know what it is, but we'll find right. out. Here we go. 450. I've got. Oh, and I must paint and a four king. cross. Right. Nine. Yeah. King nine versus Jack six. Okay. Negrano a favorite here to double up. And that's the problem with how big these blinds are. Many. He just <laughs> doubled up to a million, and now he can double up to a million again. So <laughs> sort of stuck in neutral. He's going to need a run of double ups, and here's the flop. Oh, Jack in the middle there. And Foxen now two cards and away from winning <laughs> this event. Daniel Negrano looking for a king and a king so only, or backdoor <laughs> cards to make a straight. Turn ah, card. Called from the ten. ten. That. that gives him a ton of outs. Okay. Seven, <laughs> queen, king. That's all. Easy peasy. Seven, queen, king. Eleven outs for Negrano. He's going to need to hit. Kristen Fox and one card away from taking it down. River card. Nine. The nine, nine. of diamonds. <laughs> Good game. And Fox you and great. Thank you. You wins I it. I ran amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kristen Foxen yeah. collects $165,000 I got punished for, for his efforts. Oh, which one? When it came oh, like, yeah, when yeah, you had yeah, the three, yeah. I had four or five that hand. Yeah. Um, Decided if I was betting it, I was going to pull it off. Thank you. <laughs> GG. Well done <laughs> to Kristen Foxen. <laughs> she is the champion. She's going to take home that gold trophy. It's and a little kiss there at the bottom of the screen. The I, lit Alex I must have literally had the winning hand, like 95% of the Stuck around. Because you, maybe I should. I was thinking I should probably get more. Um, I bet six. I thought I bet more than, pot, I thought oh. I bet like two thirds, but I probably would have called anyway. Honestly. Yeah, I was planning to. Call. But I, was, I, I like, should I still bet more anyway, though. I actually thought I had the nine of clubs. Because I don't have a lot of bluffs there, really. Yeah. That's why I figured yeah. I don't need to bet as big. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, true. what am I calling the flop Especially with? That's six. true. That's like right. So like when I call flop and then bet river, what is? What do you? What do I have? Seven eight suited. Yeah. Huh? Red seven. Red seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. realize they're no good anymore. They could have been good, though. That's the thing. I could have been bluffing with the best hand. Yeah. You could have had like six, but nine without a club. Yeah, 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 that's true. You probably get looked. So. That's true. Exactly. Yeah. She probably bets it. Yeah. Um, I thought about right, three betting flop, but that's just nuts. Listening in I on a bit of analysis there yeah. from yeah. Negranu and yeah, the Foxens. Oh, you weren't there. Shout out to everyone watching today. You did on it? your way out the door. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's been an oh, awesome run well. here at the PGT kickoff. We'll be back in 10 days for the Poker Go Cup. If you don't want to miss anything in the meantime, please hit the notification bell for our YouTube channel. We have daily content being released. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. For now, my name is Rem Karinkama. Donnie Peters was alongside me to call the action. It was an honor and a pleasure. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you at the Pokego Cup starting on January 26th.